What it good be, hoping it's what it should be. It's your boy N O R E. What up, it's DJ E F N. And this drink chats, Yappy Hour, make some noise! <laughs> now, now E F N, you like me? We we love to interview CEOs. Yeah. So when it comes to our new our, our guest right now, he's one of the most remarkable CEOs. He's one of the people who who held his ground, stood, uh, stood there through this test of time, still out here getting money, got new artists, new adventures, new movies, new endeavors, new clothing lines. This motherfucker's still out here kicking ass. He looks like he's motherfucking 24 years old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And motherfucking Incredible Hulk shake and all this type of shit. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, my motherfucking homeboy, Biggs Burgers in the building! Yeah. Now, now, one of one of the uh, uh, things that struck me very um, early is you was involved. You involved with this movie, OG. Yeah. That's 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 oh, out. Oh, damn! You involved in that? Yeah. yeah. I was like the producer. That looks incredible. Yeah, right. Thank you. Right. Hold, hold on, y'all. We're gonna act like it's already out because um, by the time this is so. So we So the so the movie OG came out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, HBO, correct? HBO. Yeah. Okay. What? what I had two movies. Okay. Yeah. Work. So, so what was the first one? OG. OG, and then it's a hard truth. Oh, the hard truth. Yeah. Okay, let's let's stick with OG. So, um, I, obviously, it's about a guy who get locked up. Now, is yeah. this your story or no? No, it's not my story. So okay. this, this script was already done, and it was uh, most of it was already shot before I came on board. Mm. So okay. they wanted me to executive produce it and to come on and amplify the message of the movie because I speak to that anyway right. about social justice reform right. and um, and restoration process, the right. restorative process. Right. Wow, wow. So um so so how did that process happen? Like someone just reached out or Yeah, they reached out to right. me and then once I seen a little bit of the movie, I was like, right. this makes total sense. They had already cut the movie. Like they already Yeah, some of it was shot, yeah. Okay. But Jeffrey Wright being I would say one of the best actors of our That's time. That's the dude that played Ma Malcolm X, um Peoples. Yeah, he played Peoples. Yeah, yeah, Peoples. He played, that's, yeah. that's the main dude, right? He Basquiat. Basquiat. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's on yeah. Westworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, incredible. You know what I mean? yeah. All right. People's uh, in um, Shaft, though, right? That's what I know. Yeah, That's what I and he paid on some James, a couple of James Bond movies as well. Oh, He's in a bunch of stuff. Jesus, yeah. okay. And so, uh, so, so, how, uh, so, so, this movie they came to you, they, they asked you to uh, be a part of it. You, you read the script, and that's what convinces you. No, or? no, no. I've seen, I've seen it. They had some shot, so I was okay. actually oh, yeah, able to, that. yeah, actually mm -hmm. able to see some of the film. Okay. And what's the next movie you said you had? It's a hard truth. So it's a part two to that. And we got wow. the inmates oh, wow. actually interviewing themselves. So the oh. difference, the reason why OG is so special, other than the story and the actors, right. is the only time a, a movie has ever been shot in a prison, and over 150 of the actors are all inmates. Oh, so if, hell we, if no. we get best actor and best supporting actor, the best supporting actor is going to yeah. be an inmate, oh, which has never wow. happened before. And they get paid as well. Yeah, they got paid. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's a very small fee. Like whatever right, they right, get right. paid in prison, they got paid. And Jeffrey Wright took the same um, pay for his, for his role as well. Word. Yeah, Why? he wanted to get paid like the inmates. That nigga's a, he's a off. What's that called? Uh, um, uh, uh, method actor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> method. <laughs> he, he took I mean, it, it was tough because he's playing an inmate alongside inmates. Right. So he took it as a challenge too. Wow, wow, that's that, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, what's some of the clothing line? You got the four. Come on, Mr. Lee, pop a bottle. Of, of the, you got the uh, fourth of November. 4th of November, yeah, we launching that. Actually, coming back out in November. No, pop the ones that's cold already, nigga. Come on, come on, yeah, Lee. Come on, man, get it together. Damn, Lee. Come on, man, get it together. Yeah. You've been popping like... bottles since 88. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> get it together. Yeah. Get How it together. old is Mr. Lee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 88, we've been popping Dominicans bottles. Dominicans don't age. I know yeah. five <laughs> different niggas of different generations. They all said, I grew up with Mr. Lee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what? You're what? in the movie, OG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one nigga's in the 70s, one nigga's in the 60s. <laughs> Everybody grew up with Mr. Lee playing yeah. handball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely play handball. My nigga. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was the one thing I was, I was, I was like good at in jail. Was like, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was the only nigga, like, I was the only black nigga that could play basketball and handball. Like, you know, if you play handball, yeah, you gotta stay on that side for yeah. <laughs> And then you play basketball, that's it. But I was the only dude that could play both because I was like, fuck it, I'm black and Puerto Rican. Speaking of that. What, what what do you think of when you hear this 21 Savage thing? You know what I'm saying? What, the deportation? The deportation. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about it, but right. I, mean, I, was, I don't know if he was born here or not. 
So I don't know the legality of it. Right. But I mean, I'm all for him staying here, right. 100%. Because you, know I mean? you, your background is similar to that, right? Well, like, I'm actually West Indian and Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but you I'm were from born? U.S. Yeah, okay, St. Okay. Thomas and Puerto Rico. Okay, cool, cool, damn. But that 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 struck me kind of like um. Uh, kind of like hard because. But was he? So he was actually born out the country. I, I believe he was. Well, yeah. Supposedly he, he outstayed his visa. Supposedly. Yeah. Okay. But I, I and they're using a felony, I think, against him, which he had expunged, is what I had read. I would have bet two hundred thousand. Mm. Like you to say two hundred thousand, he's from the UK or Atlanta. I would have bet uh, it all on Atlanta, yo. Mm. This guy, he's ill. Yeah. But um, yeah, God bless. Because I mean, Slick Rick went through the same thing. That's they very should, true. They with each I other. totally forgot about Slick. Right. Rick. I remember his, Slick Rick's wife when I was on radio. She was doing a whole campaign. I forgot about that. Yeah, right. yeah. And they were able to figure that out. I don't know how they figured it out. But Slick but. Rick was the first hip hop guy that got deported. Yep. Yeah, and uh, French Montana just worked his shit out. Like he's good. He's I think yo uh, Gustavo, we good? Did, did I mess up the sound? Um, French Montana, he just got his 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 shit. And you think you think it's becoming harder because of Trump? I don't mean to get political, but I just we, we have to like. I mean, it could be, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, like, yeah he's at the he's at the yeah. forefront of that. Right. Yeah, tell uh, Trump we need a pardon, man. Right, right. Word. We, uh, you know, I, you know what I thought about. Tell I, Kanye we need a pardon for twenty one. Word. Kim you you know, you know, let me just tell you something. I thought about that. I said that's how Trump is going to be hip hop accepted. Yeah. Like he's going to come and just release twenty one and just and niggas going to be like Trump all, I. All Kanye. Well, niggas niggas going to be like Trump. Niggas going to be like Trump. Trump I. I don't know about that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like I'm just saying. And he re he released him, Big Meech. <laughs> he released No, if he released him, oh, Big Meech, was, oh. and Pappy Mason, niggas got nothing to say, man. Mm. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. No, 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 but Big Meech, that would be a reach, though. That would be, mm. that would be. I, I, I think that uh, prison reform, you know, with, with Meek is a um, uh, 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 former with Jay. Yeah. Uh, how important is that? I mean, big time. I mean, we know Jeez. what's happening is all the people of color right. that's suffering from that. It's the communities that's suffering from that. Mm. So if you got somebody, you know, like I said earlier, to amplify that message and somebody that looks like us that's talking to the youth, right. talking to the people that's in power, saying that something needs to change, then right. it's, it's, you have a high, uh, higher chance to get that message across. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Jay, Robert Kras, the uh, owner of the 76ers, Meek right. at the forefront of that, but it's really Meek's thing. They're right. just supporting him. Now, that's, that's dope. Um, I, um, I like to see that. I like to see the growth in... In the youth, I like to see him hanging out with Robert Kraft. I like yeah, to see him no, hanging out. I like out. that a lot. Meek has grown a lot, man. Me and him yeah. had a conversation. Right. Other than him telling you that, you know, he just made 20 million in seven months. Right. Uh, you know, he was talking. <laughs> right. he was, you know, God telling damn. me about what, what he doing. Uh, you know, for the for the communities and stuff because he went through that. You know, you right. don't want to go through an extenuating circumstance to go through some hardship to have to come and do that. But right. you know, you learn from that. I did. You know, what I mean, I'm sure you did. Well, let's make some more noise for him. You said 20 million in seven months. What do you feel is necessary for our culture to continue to grow? Because at the end of the day, like like uh, we said at our first interview, you guys was like the first people that uh, developed luxury marketing. Yeah. Like meaning, like you know, the, when you put the uh, rap on the bins, it wasn't like you know the E class. Like you know, E class is considered a low class. And back then, that shit was considered like an S. Yeah. So how how did, how did you develop that type of mind state? Like like. I think it came from, you know, when we were uh, kids. Okay. You know what I mean? Rather teenagers and stuff, always wanting what the older kids wanted. Mm -hmm. I mean, had, rather. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in our neighborhoods, it was always the older hustlers that we looked up to, and we wanted to do what they did, but do it better. Mm. So now that we had some money, especially some legal money, we was able to put it to something that made sense. Mm. You know what I mean? God damn. Now, you, I, now I just recently went to one of the best birthday dinners. Come on, pour your shot. Come on, get, get yourself going. Oh, let's shit. go, let's eye go. Eye? Let's go, yeah. Oh, no, another uh, shot. You can, you can sip it. Then we do eye to eye right. later. But, um... Actually, yeah, let's talk about that because that's yeah. when I actually got introduced to this uh, De Leon and Yeho. Oh, it was the first time you drank it there? Yeah. Oh, get out of here. I thought you was fronting. Nah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, I was yeah. Oh, I thought you was fronting. I was only about the surprise. Yeah, oh, all right, all right. Yeah, I thought you was putting it in front of but, Puff, like, oh, nah, okay. Nah, nah, it's nah. good, it actually is good. <laughs> no, no, it's real good. It's real yeah, good. Yeah, right, right, it's, it's real. smooth as shit. No, 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 if you yeah, fuck with smooth. Tequila, that's, yeah. good, that's good. I guess I can say it now, because Puff actually fucked up the surprise. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, word out. Yeah. Because I was with him the night before. Oh, OK. And then yeah. he was like, yo, what we doing tomorrow? We going such and such and such? I was like, I don't know. He's like, I ain't gonna fuck up the surprise. Then I was like, he's like, come on, Biggs, you got to fake it. Yeah, that was crazy, because me and you were supposed to have a meeting before that. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, people was hitting me like, yeah, don't get them drunk. Yeah. So then when the meeting didn't happen, I was like, I was like, I'm so glad because I can't hold a surprise neither. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but but this was mo- the most a luxurious, this was the most illest dinner. Like people really came out to yeah. show you love. Yeah. Like, like how, how did that feel? Like, I mean, it felt good, man. Especially everybody going around saying something good and stuff right. like that. You know, I don't really celebrate my birthday. Word? Wow. Yeah, I mean, I celebrate other, you know, my birthday, you know, you feel like it's your birthday. You don't really want to do much, but when it's somebody else's, you quick right. to celebrate. So I just got used to that. No, we're going to change that up. Yeah, we're so. going to start celebrating your motherfucking <laughs> yeah. birthday. Okay, right, okay. You're changing that up. You deserve it, goddammit. Salud, salud. You deserve it, goddammit. Now, I learned when I was in Mexico, and I'm going back to the dinner, but I learned when I was in Mexico that real tequila drinkers drink it like that. They sip tequila. Because I used to always think tequila was a, a, a setback Like drink. a shot drink. Yeah, yeah, a shot drink. Well, you could if you pour it in a shot glass, but right. you could sip, I mean, anything. You could sip or, or, or drink. But, but you go straight to the abyss when you do it as a, as a shot, right? You go straight to the bottom. It depends on what mood I was. My birthday was all, it was, I was in a shot mood. Right, and the next day yeah. you did a, a, a straight tequila too? What was that shit you had at the, um, the Malibu place? Oh, Mezcal. What the fuck Mezcal is that? Mezcal's great. Right? Yeah. What the fuck is it's that? It's like it's like tequila. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not te- tequila. No, it's not tequila. It's but in it's a tequila like it. family. Yeah. You know, I it's guess like you could say. the same plant or something. But it's different. Just like how this gin, vodka, smoky, rum, right? tequila, mezcal. It's its right. own category. Yeah, mezcal. So, so let me ask you something. Why do you drink straight, strong, fucking drinks? Wow. Like, I, don't know. I guess I'm just used to it. Uh, so getting back to that, to that, to that, um, to the dinner, it 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 was so great. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people in this industry, this is what Drink Champs is about. Drink Champs is about giving people their flowers, yeah. you know, while they're alive, and and giving like um, this was this was so dope. People were, we were going outside, and it was so crazy to see like these these billionaire people without security. Like their security <laughs> was going to fuck with the paparazzi. Like get the fuck out of here! Yeah. But they were chilling. Like this shit was this shit was dope, and these yeah. and, th- and these is your friend. You said you told me something that was very interesting on the phone, uh, uh, like uh, like last one or something. You said you know this is the first time you and Puff actually spoke. So yeah. all these years. Yeah, I never wow. spoke to Puff. I spoke to Puff actually last year at Grammy. Word. It was our first time we had a conversation. And they're both from Harlem. What's going on? <laughs> I, I know it's crazy. I mean, it's not like I seen him around Harlem, but right. Uh, right. yeah, we had a conversation, and then he I came back. It was like you know me and Biggs never spoke, and then we exchanged numbers. Right. And he was like, when he when I come to L.A., he was like, yo, make sure you holler at me. Right. And I seen him at the at the Oscar party, and I didn't call him. He was like, yo, you thought I was drunk? Mm-hmm. Why you didn't call me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you know, I mean, we end up hooking up after that. We went to dinner, went to his crib and stuff, in his office and shit. We had a good time, right, built a good relationship, and you know, now we now we friends. God damn, yeah, man. But um, e, I don't know if you know, man. This it was like. It was Kelly Rowland right there. It's Beyonce. Shit, it was more people than the photo. The photo by itself. With oh, that was, was that epic. wasn't even half of the oh, people. Yeah. That was epic by that itself. That wasn't right even there. half. Like there were yeah. certain people that didn't even. They, they that, was just, that photo was powerful by yeah. itself. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's a yeah. powerful. Wow. And 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 how does it feel that to, to know that in, in in all actuality, if you really wanted to like make something happen, like with some or the biggest of luxuries, <laughs> like you can actually do it. Like there's a lot of people who I can't. Know, yeah, you're right. I never thought about it like that, but I'm saying even at the dinner, it was just good to see everybody around together and shit celebrating. You right. know? It, it was, it was, truthfully, it was a great, it was a great thing, man. All right, uh, that, that was beautiful. It, it was very much appreciated. Especially your uh, ten, your ten speeches. I, I gave ten speeches, definitely. Oh, yeah. Sounds yeah. like yeah. Right. <laughs> Niggas on my side. because I kid you not, one of the best stories I ever, ever, one of my. It's two. He's got two of the best stories of my life. One is when um the recent one I told you where I seen him. We went to the Jay Z yeah. concert, and I just seen him looking, and at first he wasn't drinking. That's what Sean was there too. Yeah, Ooh. Lil, Lil Sean. Sean. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, and I seen he wasn't drinking, and Jay came out, and he just hit me on my shoulder, and I was like, boom. And you know, Biggs ain't aggressive like that, so Biggs was hitting me mad hard. Boom, and I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. I said, like, let me look, nigga. So I looked, and he was just so happy seeing Jay-Z walk out on stage. Right. And to me, that's the definition of real friendship. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if any of y'all, listen, any of y'all understand what the fuck I just said? This man flew. To see his homeboy, he got to see his homie on stage and was just so happy. He don't, he didn't get no money off of this, you know, the tour, right. nothing like that. But the way he was so happy was like, I, you felt like, you felt like, like you was picking up the bag right there. And yeah. I was like, yo, that was, 
that was a beautiful moment for me, like just to see that there's people out here like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I know where we came from and where right. we started from. You know what I'm saying? And to see that it got this big. Right. You know what I mean? To see him up there and shit and killing. Right. I mean, you know, Jay, his feet used to be planted in the middle of the stage. Right. Now this nigga's running up and down 100 yep. feet, going up and down, <laughs> yep. side by side, and yep. seeing that alongside B, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, doing something incredible, it was, it was, a, it was a touching moment, man. And, and to see how big, not only that, the company, everybody that came through us, the legacy, you know, it was like everything that came together was right there on stage. That's to be fulfilling for you as well. Definitely. Like the right. bag isn't always money. Right. Oh, 100%. It's, it's something not, like I that. I talk about that all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. the relationship. Right. It's not about right. the transaction. Right. Right, but I saw it like so sincere. Like, like I, I never had seen nothing like that in my life. It was just like sitting there. He was just so happy, and I was like, "Damn, I want, I want my friends to be successful too." Y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all <laughs> 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 niggas gotta, <laughs> y'all niggas gotta step it up. Mr. Lee, make your reggaeton album now. <laughs> <laughs> and another one of my favorite stories was, I remember, I remember. Uh, this is right before you like uh, got into the trouble or whatever. We used to go and you would watch every Allen Iverson game, and every game <laughs> Allen Iverson would come on. I don't know. You go to Big's house. I hit him. You're like, yo, I'm home. I'm like, all right, cool, boom. I'll come over, bring some sangria, and I swear to God, we watched like at least 19 Allen Iverson games together. And then one day we went to the club, and Allen Iverson walked right by us, and I said, Big, let's go say what's up to Allen Iverson. He was like. Man, I don't know if I like him as a person. <laughs> and that shit made so much sense to me because just think about it. Like, because you like a person don't mean that that's who they are in real life. Right, right. So he had cut that off from the beginning. Like, he was like, nah, I don't know. Cause, and you, you, you're absolutely right. The yeah. person that you like on television can, does not have to necessarily be oh, that, that person. But now you and AI is cool. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn it. Make some noise for that, man. Yeah. Just, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. You're fat. Now, you already know. I'm drinking. We had, we had some of the most famous battles in drinking. You guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to yeah. hear this. Oh, he's... Look, 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 look. Just goes, like, he, like, he's like cool, calm, and collective, but he's a fucking animal, all yeah. right? He's a drink champ. He's a drink champ, for sure. I don't know if it's a battle. No, it's not a battle, but in our mind, we always secretly battle. Like, I'm just saying, because I always win. Yeah, all right, cool, all right. You mute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. But what, do you, what is the win? What does the okay. win mean to you, though? Listen, in London, he didn't sta- win. I'm still standing drinking the last yeah, shot. Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. It's very, but in London, this was, was the most interesting one was in London. It was because... Um, that's when you guys had Armadale, correct? Yeah. These guys had Armadale. And for, which, which, by the way, I promoted, remember? Yes, I, you did I promote. I have a bottle at the crib. Still? Really? The original yeah. Armadale? I should have brought it. Oh, wow. man. Come on. But the, someone will take it, so I'm not bringing right, it. Cut, yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the original. So, um, You're supposed to bring that. So yeah. we're in uh, this, 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 this uh, indoor, indoor pool in London. It's a house with an indoor pool. Some shit I've never seen before. But for some reason, they're like, yo, let's go. And we go, I'm talking about this is shot for shot to the very last shot. And then there was one last shot. Of shot of Tim- what? What are you guys drinking? Armadale. Oh, Armadale, okay. Yeah. And then Timbo took and there's, there's one last shot. And then Timbo <laughs> took it. And then he looked at me, he said, there's no more. I said, there's no more. And he fell asleep <laughs> with his eyes open. Like that. <laughs> and he fell asleep like that. And, and Biggs kept hitting me like, yo, he all right? So mm. like, and I was like, no, nah, he do this all the time. But meanwhile, he yeah. doesn't do this all the time. But I was like. Big face was there too, <laughs> right? Yeah, big face was there. Yeah, yeah man. Um, the Rock- <clears throat> Do you think, um, you think Rockefeller could ever be emulated? Like, um. <clears throat> I mean, it's tough right now to, to do something to, bi- to, bi- to build a business that big and to have everything under it be successful the way it was. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that it, it can happen, but it's going to be tough. Mm-hmm. It was just a t- different time and space. Right. And when you say under, you mean in like the, you had the liquor, you had the, the No, clothing. I'm talking about all the, all the, the uh, executives under oh, us, exactly. right? So, oh, okay. So you think about Eve, Pierre, right, you know right, what I mean, right. who's at yeah. uh, ICA. Emmanuel at Capital, Shari yep. at Interscope, Latrice at Universal, all of them. I thought Emmanuel was at Atlantic. No, nah, she's at Capital oh, now. Cap- she's a vec- yeah, executive vice president. She just got bumped up. God damn it. Let's make yeah. some noise for Emmanuel. Yeah. God damn it. 
Yeah, y'all got, y'all had, y'all, y'all got so many employees. Shari, like even, right? and it's, yeah, everybody, like even, everybody went off to do great things. Even the family tree that was put out, right? Yeah. I think, uh, who was it that tried to dispute it? But a lot of people didn't understand the breakdown of the family tree when you, you I heard Flex talk about it. Was it was Funkmaster Flex, right? Yeah. I, I totally forgot. Yeah. Um, uh, so, like, you want to explain that a little bit or like just? Yeah, the family tree, because Forbes was doing an article on me and they wanted to sh show a diagram right. of what we started and how it was a snowball effect that created all these other different right. mm -hmm. either execs, uh, businesses, careers, mm -hmm. you know, so we had, and it was hard because there was a lot of people before us mm -hmm. that could have been on that tree, right? Clark mm -hmm. Kent, right. Kenny Burns, like these right. are guys, Irv Gotti, right. they didn't come from Rockefeller, they were pre-Rockefeller that helped right. us build these companies that really couldn't fit on there because I couldn't put them under that. Right. You know what I mean? So right, I just kind of right. put what we did, what we started in from there. But it, and even with that, uh, because it was maybe the last two days and it was or last day was a deadline. Right. And I think I added a couple more things and I was just like, go ahead and put it out. Mm. So with Flex, when he was talking about that, I didn't understand what he was saying or maybe he didn't understand what was going yeah. on. So he kind of spoke out of turn. Um, I think he disputed me. <laughs> like, like he disputed. He was I like, mean, you were. See, a, a, a lot of people don't know how close we were. Like, if you look at Streets is Watching, I'm the only artist outside of Rockefeller that was on the Streets is Watching. You look at the professional, I'm on there. Uh, so I had a relationship. Yeah. So a lot of people don't really State understand. State property movies. State like, property man. movies. Yeah. I starred in one of them. Uh, I was in Paid in Fall. Uh, I was in, um, at the, what's the other Paper shit? Soldiers. Paper Soldiers. Damn, boy, I'm sorry. Yeah. Papa Ponte! Papa Ponte! So a lot of people didn't understand. Because I know when I spoke to Flex, he was mm. like, how can Rockefeller say it? And I was like, yo, Flex, I was actually been down with them like 10 years. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, a lot of people didn't know it. But if you look at the, you and look the at every album, movie. The album. Yeah, yeah. Album. Exactly. yeah, so a lot of people. But I, I get where Flex was coming from. But I, 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 I had to let him know, like, listen, that when you bring up me, like, you're, you're incorrect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, I mean, there was a lot of inconsistencies, but maybe he just don't know the whole truth. Right, 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 yeah. right. So uh, with, with that being said, you, we, 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 you ever looked at another record label and was like, yo, they remind me of how we used to do it? Like, is there someone close to you guys? Or? Not really. I, I mean, because of, I mean, Puff was, he did a, he did a lot in the space. But that was like a little bit before y'all, right? Yeah. Okay. But not, nothing after that okay. I seen, no. Uh, how about, how about? I mean, I like what uh, uh, Q and... Um, I was about to bring them yeah. up. Yeah, Q and uh, and Coach K is doing over there. Oh, okay. What about don't, TDE? Don't. TDE, definitely, hundred percent TDE. Yeah, right. I, I, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they rocking over there too. So yeah, TDE and uh, Coach, right. Coach and P, they killing it. All right. So, yeah. uh, Even um, um, High Bridge. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, so I like um, A Boogie. Like, yeah, them, right? yeah, A Boogie okay. and um, QP okay. and M, they right. killing it too. Yeah. Right. And your I opinion? I mess with them heavy. In your opinion. Uh, it's been a whole bunch of this talk going on in the industry. Um, and the word that's frequently used is culture vulture. Yeah. What what are you what are you what is your stance on a culture vulture? I never really thought about it. I hear the word thrown around a lot, but right. I never really gave it thought of what it meant or this and that. Um, right. truthfully. You know what I mean? There's right. so many people who have different definitions for it. Right. Um I mean I don't really look at it or Right. Say this person is a part of stealing the culture or doing this to the culture, this and that. To me, right. the culture is a mash culture right now. Right. So, for, in order for rap or hip hop to grow, it had to grow outside of its immediate base, mm. right? And for it to get that big, it's now all inclusive, right? There's mm -hmm. skating, right. basketball, this soccer. Like everybody listens to, to the music. Mm -hmm. That's why it grew so big. So, to me, it's just mash culture right now. So, if somebody's taking advantage, I don't think it's a color thing. It right. could be a black person or a white person, if that's the case, to say if they're a culture vulture or not. Yeah, that's true. What do you, what do you think about that word, E? I, I mean, I agree with what he's saying. I think it's just complicated. Like, it's just right. who determines who is the culture vulture. Yeah. Right. Because, um, I mean, you'd have to go into that person's history, where they come from. You don't know what their life entails that, that makes them a part of the culture or not. Right. Right, that's true. I mean, it's true. Um, what you think, Nori? I have no idea, to tell you the truth, because... Um, if a person comes from outside of our culture, quote unquote, and and is just as dedicated as me, then I gotta I gotta show them some love. Like, yeah. if, and, and if a person kind of made me, 
you know, uh, I don't want to say, because I don't want to, like, selfish myself out and say, like, well, if a person made me a certain amount of money or put me in a position, then, you know, how could he be a coach of both? I just don't, I don't, I don't really get it. I don't really know, you know what I mean? So, um, I, I try to, um, but I, I'm trying to be enlightened, like, to, to even... Maybe, the, maybe people have to differentiate business and culture. Right. And that's where it gets muddy. Because if that's the case, you, you could be from... You could be from reggae throne and coming and doing hip hop, and that's considered, right. you know, being a culture vulture, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You from, from a yeah. different, a whole different culture. But I'm saying people could do dirty business moves that might be smart business moves, but might yeah. hurt this individual and that person. Like you're a culture vulture. Right. But you could be just straight of the culture. It's not about business. You're not involved in the industry side of things. Right. And you know that's, that's where it gets a little bit confusing. Right. What, what do you feel like when, because you knew early Kanye, you don't know, uh, I don't know if you do, but um, you, you, I haven't seen you around crazy Kanye like that yeah. too much, but um, I don't mean to call him crazy like that, but you know what I mean, like, you know, Magna Kanye. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about Magna Kanye? Because, I mean, you knew the south side of Chicago Kanye. You knew yeah. the- I don't know. It just seems like a lot of confusion. So, I mean, he admitted to having a problem, right? right. So he said he's he was- been saying it. Yeah, yeah, he's bipolar and things like that. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't agree with a lot of stuff that he's saying or, or he's been doing right. um, in the public with Trump and things like that. But I don't know his reasoning for it. Like you right. said, I didn't have a conversation. Last time I seen him was in Paris. Okay. And um, at Virgil's at the Louis Vuitton show. Okay. So I seen him, gave him a hug, told him I loved him. He turned around, said I love you too. Right. So I was just like, look, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of all of this. You know, look right. what we did and how it trickled down to even what Virgil's doing. Right. And that was it. That was the you know the end of the conversation. So. You you ever saw that? You ever saw that he would be in like in this type of weird position where the hood love him? Like we we gonna still buy his sneakers, mm-hmm. but we like kind of like confused on how to support somebody who supports I person. think a lot of, yeah, I think a lot of people are confused. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he's putting out different messages. Right. So until it's something that's clear cut, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to stay like that. Right. Now, what was your take on the Super Bowl? Because look, I mean, I wanted, to, I wanted to watch history, to tell you the truth. Right. I mean, it was good. I'm not mad that, uh, that New England won. I, right. You know, it was good to see history, to be a part no, of history. No, what I meant by that was um, like the entertainment part, because- I don't like it. The boycotting oh. part? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You didn't like yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, who, who was it? Adam Levine? Yeah. He had the, he had the mean five. Daytona Rolex on though. I saw that. I was and, like, all right, cool. And the double chains. Though. Oh, I didn't check people that Should far. Two chokers. Yeah, oh, okay. All right, cool. I was just he, like, oh, he yeah, got he ran. <laughs> he got <laughs> relax. Is that a culture vulture? No, nah, I don't know. <laughs> and Big Boy, Big Boy, that was, that yeah. was okay. Big Boy, Sleepy Brown. Yeah. But um, I just I wish we would have seen more of that. Like to give right. Big Boy that whatever. Minute, like he should have might be a minute clip. Adam Levine was. Travis Scott have a minute clip. You know, right. I mean, Missy and them got more time than that. Uh, was it last year, or the year before? I would, I wanted to see more of that. And you don't get paid for the Super Bowl. I just All found right? out I didn't know that. No, you don't. You don't get paid for the Super Bowl. Hmm. They'll take care. I of you. Had no yeah. idea about. That. Yeah, nope. They'll, they'll take you, care. What of you. you mean? NFL don't pay you? Yeah, NFL don't pay you. But Pepsi get... probably does. No, uh, no, no. You don't get paid for the actual halftime show. Pepsi? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think. This is facts. You know yeah, this 100%. Yeah, yeah, one, one, yeah. yeah right, we're going to check this. We're going to check this and we're going to come back. Yeah, I mean, listen, now, don't get me wrong. When you say Pepsi, that might be, but it's not from the Super Bowl. It's no, not no, because Pepsi owns a halftime. Yeah, for, I mean, but they it's usually not, pay for it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think, I think they take care of your travel, your hair, makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the stage, the stylist, whatever you, you your know, stage props, yeah. your tour bus, but you giving you, a, and then they, t- they're giving you a look. Yeah. So they feel like, I mean, that's what, essentially, that's what I. That's what I heard. That's why Jay turned it down was because no, uh, definitely not. One, he didn't want to do it uh, yeah. because of Kaepernick Cap- and um, Jay don't do nothing for money. Right. Like that. Like if he right. wants to do it, he'll do it. If he's right. getting paid from it, that's. But I've mm-hmm. seen him turn down a lot of shit for for mm-hmm. big amounts. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Did you ever think? You, you, you ever think Jay would be at this level? Because now again, you started from the bottom, 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 bottom. N- no. I didn't no. think it would last this long. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's honest. That's honest like yeah. a motherfucker. Yeah. You, 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 I know we would have a good run. Back. Like a 10-year career, you know? Yeah, some okay. 10. Wasn't it uh, you? Because at, well, at the time, the, the average lifespan of... Uh, five years, two years? Three. Three. Three, three albums. I remember right? that. So it was three, you know what I mean? If you can I'm, last that long. Right? I remember artists would get one single. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't even get to your next yeah. single and you out of here. But in the last, when we talked to you before, didn't you say you were the one that didn't believe him originally? Yeah, yeah. Ri- originally, no, right. I didn't, yeah, nice. I didn't, um, I didn't particularly like Jay's music early right. on. Right, right. It was after the battle of DMX. Wow. Right. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that he would have lasted 20 something years and still be this relevant today. Right. Right. Like doing verses like what's yeah. free. Right, word. Yeah, that's word. word. That's crazy. Shot time, um, Mr. Lee. 
Let's do some Tiger Bone. Tiger Bone? Let's do some Tiger Bone, goddammit. It's about to get crazy. Yeah, man. So, um, so in the beginning, you guys have Jay, right? You guys are all three partners. What was the moment where you was like, wow, this because cause everything was based on Jay at first as an artist. Yeah. Right? And it's the, equal partnership, sorry. It was equal partnerships with, yeah. with the artists, right. you and Dame. With, with other artists. It was just no, no, me, no. Jay-Z, and Dame. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Being the he's the artist. Yes. In the oh, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Equal partners. Right. What was the moment where you was like, you know what? This as an entity is going to work. Reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt. Wow. Yeah. The very okay. first one. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you know, we listening to the music. You know how it is when you hear the album before anybody else that it right. hasn't hit the world. The world hasn't heard it. Right. But you know, you sitting on this classic. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you just can't wait till this shit get out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you met the I original know, Flavor feel like J. That, like That's that. the artist right. you met originally. The sound. The original, yeah, originally, yeah. But we were just friends. Right. right. But right. I'm saying that to make that album from that artist to this. Well, he now. has some songs already. So oh, okay. Like coming to age was one of the. Uh, Oldest songs on an uh, album that and uh, forgot the ones that like three songs that clocked it. All the clock songs were, were old old songs. Mm. So I think and I think he mentioned this. So those, why they time shots time. look like that? My shot look like what the fuck type of shit is this? Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Holy shit! Look how they try Yo, to. Yo, karma's a bitch. They're trying <laughs> to murder me. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. on. Take a little. This is actually so, my shit. Salud. 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 I actually had this on a rider. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, that messed it up. I don't know why. I can't get used to Tiger Ball. I can't go to Soho House oh, yeah? after this I can't now. Get used to it. I like Tiger Ball. Look. I think it's a dangerous drinker, brother. <laughs> yeah, he said that, man. Comes. <laughs> Word. You know who else is, 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 is a very dangerous? Faith. Oh, oh really? No. Faith Evans? Yeah. Oh, she's dangerous. She was, she was trying to drink us under the table. I'm talking about, she, she was, did that recently. Oh, you was with her? Yeah. I'm talking about no cameras around. She's just, just drinking, drink. I'm like, yo, come on. She was drinking at the studio before. Like, show. she's, she's, and she can lay vocals like that. Like, I can't lay vocals as drunk. <laughs> that shit is real. So, so, um, you come home from jail. People don't even, uh, like, hear, hear from you for like six to eight months. No one really hears from you. People yeah. hearing you home, mm. no one sees you. You come out. And you, you, hit, you hit the scene. Everyone, because, I got to reiterate because I know I touched on it a little bit before, but the word was Dame Dash, uh, when you was away, Dame Dash was going on radio stations and he was promoting. He was like, niggas ain't writing bigs and niggas ain't mm -hmm. seeing bigs. You ever, you ever got the word that, that, that you felt like that? Yeah, I mean, him spoke about it, and okay. I was like, I told him, I said, look, I don't feel that way. So right. you telling the public that seems like it's coming from me. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? So we right. had a conversation. I was like, I don't want people to think that because if I sign somebody, I don't right. sign them and say, look, if I ever go to jail, right. I need you to be there for me. It's mm. a business move. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So nobody owed me anything. We paid somebody to make an album, and that was it. Right. 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 So nobody owes me anything. Nah, right. nah, nah. That's real shit. That's real shit. Yeah. What? That was the, that was the, so what was the first reaction to when people see you coming back in the business? People see you coming The back? first time was when I had a 4th of November, uh, because, because, an I'm gonna event. Cut you off. Because people don't really know yeah. who you would. Yeah. They don't know if you would, like, Dane, they don't know you, <laughs> you would Jay, or they don't know Yeah, but it's not, a, I don't think it's a wit thing. Those are both my brothers. That's, 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 you know what that's I'm saying? beautiful about So it. from then to now, those are both right. my brothers. Whether they do something, I don't agree with them. Right. Sometimes I don't agree with my family, right? right. So it's still family. Right. Right. We build something together and we create a history together. Nobody could take that away from Absolutely. us. So right. if somebody's doing something that I don't, I don't agree with, I'll probably just not, right. I won't be around that, that, that bad energy, but it mm. doesn't take away the love and what we built and started together. God damn it, that was so smooth. God damn it. God damn it, that was so smooth. That nigga, break your ass up, nigga. Yeah. That's some real nigga shit, man. That's some real nigga shit. Um, <coughs> in, this, in this day of clickbait, Wait, but wait, wait. Before you go there, I think Click, you were talking what? about the clothing line still first. Okay, yes. I yeah. want to know what's the inspiration behind the clothing line. Oh, the 4th of November, yes. Yeah, well, I, uh, some, that was in existence already, and I spoke to somebody who was doing it, and I just came and financed it and became a partner. Wow. So since then, um, I acquired the whole thing, and then I have new partners now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're dropping us a whole new season? Yeah, in, in November. Oh, okay, dope. 
But back to what you were saying, when people but first seen me, it was that, and then it was at the Kanye and um, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. That was the first time I seen Jay. Right. Kanye and um, oh, shit. yeah, a lot of people actually. At the, how, at the, how was that like? It was funny because at the, people always said, "Yo, what's gonna happen when you see him?" I said, "Well, everybody will probably laugh," and yeah. that's what happened. We all just started laughing before we said a word. <laughs> so we just laughed, gave each other hugs and stuff. You know, we talked for a bit, and then we end up listening to Kanye's uh, music. And then I seen him coming out, and he actually was like, "Yeah, I want to support you on the clothing line." I heard what you was doing, uh, so he Kanye. must have been paying attention. Yeah, okay. Kanye. And then how, and then how about uh, Redo '96? Yeah, Redo, which was Rock 96, so that's a... Okay, uh, Rock 96. Yeah. Right. No, it was Rock 96. I just okay. changed it to Redo, but that's a luxury line. Okay. And I use it as a special design unit just to collaborate on a luxury level. And you got, like, Barney's and stuff like that? Yeah, Barney's. It was in uh, Luis Villaroma in Italy and also Revolve. All right. So how, how dope was it? Because I remember that pop-up shop. That was like the first... Although you said you, um, y'all seen each other in MSG, I don't think y'all took pictures, correct? Me what? and Kanye, no. There's pictures that came out. Like, I'm oh, you and Jay, I'm saying. No, no, no. I didn't take any pictures with so Jay. So, like, the first picture we ever saw was at the pop-up. Yeah, the pop-up in L.A. So, how did that, like, feel? Like, you know, like, him just coming out to support you? Because, you know, he yeah. didn't have to. You know what nah, I'm saying? you're right. And, yeah. and then he hit me. He was like, yo, I'm in Mexico or something, but I'm yeah. flying in to come to the, All right. you know wow. what I mean, the pop-up. So, he flew in, came, and then we, I don't know, seemed like 100 bottles. We popped the Ace of Spades. All right. And then we just had a good time, you know, just laughing. Pusha was there, right. Just Ski, you know what I mean? A lot of family, hip hop, you know what I mean? Right. To see everybody together, that, right. that's what I wanted to do. You know what I'm right. saying? To bring that, that, that old family atmosphere back. God damn it, let's make some noise for that, God damn it. Yeah. God damn it. You got something? Yeah, because I totally forgot my thought. I gotta, no, I mean, you kind of went into it, though, because okay. th that's a collaboration that's taking the whole, this is me just not knowing, the yeah. Rockefeller symbolism. Is yeah, that the right. same thing? Right. You talking about the pop-up? Yeah, no, right. but the in the the line. The rock we do ninety six. Yeah. So, so rock ninety six was about that because we were celebrating the twenty years. Right. But it doesn't it's, it's not gonna be just about that aesthetic. So I have reasonable doubt that's more of a merch line slash right. streetwear that speaks the more about what we created in the beginning. And, and right. on a business tip, does that ever cause any friction with anybody that was partners with you at no. that time, or is that free and clear for you to do what yeah, you need? Yeah, free and clear. Right. Yeah. What Anybody like, could do whatever they want. Like any of your partners. Yeah. Because you guys were all equal yeah, partners. Yeah. Okay. Because and Armadale, you 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 is, is it true you came up with the mix or something like that? Or you, or yeah, you, I came up with the name. Okay. Uh, the deal and uh, and also the um, yeah uh, the liquid yeah so mm -hmm. I picked that out too. But you weren't a part of Rock Aware. Rock everything. Oh. Yeah. You, so so okay. Rock Aware, I used that. That was a marketing arm. So I just mm -hmm. did it the, all across marketing with the music right. and and the company. Right. What do you mean it was a marketing arm? Like, well, we cross-marketed everything. If you remember all the companies we had, right. yeah, it was yeah, all yeah. seamless. Yeah, because so. I worked the label side and I had to work all those brands. Exactly. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to I gotta ask this question because the fans would kill me if not. And um, everyone always is curious of this strong brotherhood. You know, yeah. you got you... Um, who have your own crew, came in with your own crew. You got Dame, who has his own crew, came in with his own crew. You got Jay, who has his own crew, came in with his own crew. And this big conglomerate, everybody always, they speculate, what was the breakup? Or what, like, what was the actual thing? Like, like, if you look at these blogs, they always say, well, this, like, you know, Star say this, yeah. and these people say this, and the Inquirer say this. And well, well, the thing about it, when we did that deal in 97, the company was always going to be sold. Mm. So people think it's a breakup, but it was being sold anyway. Mm. Like so Def we, Jam, like how Russell You're trying to build exactly. it up and sell it. Yeah, right. so just like they had a formula put in, they knew they were selling. The only reason they um, extended because we were selling so many records. So right. we was actually pushing the number that Def Jam was going to get up mm. because we were selling so many records at the time with Rockefeller. Mm. But yeah, we knew in 97 we were selling in 2002. The only thing is we did an extension for three more years. So, so that's why I went from 2002 to 2005, and I think uh, with Oi Mikanto, where right, was that, so 2003? I think five or four. Yeah, yeah. four, yeah. Yep. So that was the tail end of it. The deal was up. Mm. So, you know, so that's why Jay Def Jam, and then we started right. DDMG. He wasn't Rockefeller right. anymore. He went, right. you know, everybody just went and did their own thing. But the, um, the theory is that it was Leo Combs, right? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think Leo gets that unfairly, but... That's just me looking from the outside in. Yeah. Um, that's that's a theory. The theory is, Leo Combs did something to break 
you guys up. That's one of the theories. There's yeah. 15 million theories, oh, yeah. by the way, Biggs. Yeah, I didn't hear the other. Uh, yeah, no, I got, I got, I got a million. million nine hundred ninety-nine hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yo, I got, I got to hear everything. I, you think I, I think I've heard. So I can make a better. I, and, the, and the movie made it confusing too. With yeah. Death of a the Dynasty. Devil of a Dynasty. Yeah. Devil of a Dynasty was I'm funny in that movie too. when it came out. We actually had a meeting. We was like, yo, where's this stuff coming from? Because it was actually on the news saying that we were breaking up. Right. Right. So Jay called us. Ah. He's like, yo, y'all saying it? We like, yo, nah, you saying it? So we <laughs> laughing with right. each other because at the same time, we making the movie. Right. Right. But none of us is knowing where it came from. Okay. I mean, so people don't know about those meetings and we laughing about it. You know, so it's, it's a bunch of theories. So you saying that Leo Cones couldn't have been it? I'm not saying that he could or couldn't have. I'm just right. saying that it wasn't the reason why Rockefeller Right. Dispersed because we sold the company mm -hmm. in 2005. Then there's another crazy rumor, right? <laughs> that when Cameron <laughs> became the president, this is this is like this is one of the, like the yeah. illest ones because well he never became the president. Whoa. Dame said that he wanted to, but Cam asked for a certain amount of money that he never got, and he turned it down. So it was supposed to be Cameron. We didn't have Twitter back then, so yeah, once that information was, was be, out, it was supposed to be Cameron and Cam. Beans. And yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. I heard that story from you guys. I've never heard that in public. Yeah. I heard that, in, like I heard Dame say that, and I heard yeah. you say that. I never heard it in public though. Yeah. But you think you, th you think that that had people salty, like even like like state property or something like that? Well, I wouldn't like, say like that the, because Beans was about to be the president too. Mm. You know what I mean? The president of his. Yeah, it was going to be two co-presidents. Right. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, that would that would have been that would have been crazy. Would have been. But, and this is after you guys sold it already or not? Nah, we still oh, have it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oof. Jesus, man. That's you got you got rich history, man. I might take a <laughs> fucking shot of fucking tequila. We don't got uh no more tiger bowl. We take a shot of Colombian white if you want. I'll take a shot of Colombian white. Let's do, it, buddy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mr. Lee, can you pour this for us? I'm in. I'm not really what's in. The, what's, <laughs> what's, what's, this is EFN <laughs> shit. The Colombian. Yeah. Yeah. No, but what is it though? It's, it, it's the process before rum. It's an aguardiente. Yeah, he's like, uh, what the fuck again? is that? Aguardiente. <laughs> yeah. I, Fire I water. Colombian shit. Listen, uh, you yeah, want me to tell you the truth? This is what Colombians, they snip cocaine and then they drink this, all right? Uh -huh. Just throwing it out there. The process it's, before It's a Colombian rum. culture. Yeah, if you before Colombian, it becomes rum, <laughs> yeah. so Colombians... What, make, what makes it become rum? The cane? Ah, uh, this is how I you know this is I think it's the way bad. they um they filter it. Look, this is Tiger Bone and Aguayante. This is, you know this yeah, is Yeah, no, bad. but he gave me the same shit. It's a uh, dark this is Colombian not good. white. This is not good. Yo, I don't know if you know Biggs, but we celebrate our niggas. We celebrate our people. Thank we you, celebrate man. our champions, our CEOs. Salud. Eye to eye. Salud. Mm. Ah. This is not good. That was not good. That's not that bad. It, it tastes like licorice. Hey, hey, don't talk bad about my liquor, man. How you know? How you know? <laughs> how you know nothing about Tiger Bone? <laughs> You're talking about the Tiger Bone part, right? Oh, the Aguayente is crazy. And Tiger Bone. <laughs> <laughs> and Tiger Bone, man. <laughs> so, uh, this, so right now, Harlem is being like gentrified. It's crazy. Like, yeah. you literally can, you know, go outside and there's someone jogging by, <laughs> with, you know. It's definitely different. Like, how does how does that feel? Um, I mean, you, you want your neighborhood to be better, but at yeah. the same time, you want the people from the community to have some ownership, right. mm. which isn't happening. Mm. So I think that's the mishap. A lot of times, these communities get gentrified, but no one is saying, "Yo, this is what you can do to build a business, to own a business, or to mm. do something to be a part of this long term, or to try to buy these units once they start turning mm. into co-ops and condos." Mm. So that education process need to be there. Mm. Cause that's, that's what the gentrification is what driving the price yeah. up, right? right. Which can be good for them well. if there's some ownership. All right. Yeah. Yeah, because right now they right now where we're at right now, Little Haiti, they're going through the same thing. Yeah, they right taking now. Little Haiti and they taking Baby Puerto Rico. Yeah. Baby Puerto Rico. Winwood was Baby Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was the hood back in the days. It was yeah. Baby Puerto so Rico. That's where we are right now, Little Haiti. This is Little yeah, Haiti. Yeah, Little yeah. Haiti, yeah. But and this... Winwood, which is that's where we used to go to all the Zulu Nation jams. Yeah. And that you couldn't even that recognize shit is, that. That shit is uh, the village. Winwood, where? Winwood. Winwood. Our district. You know, like man. the village, oh, yeah? like our village. Oh, okay. They turned that shit to the village, but it used yeah. to be baby Puerto Rico. Man, be, I don't know shit about Like Roberto man. Clemente. They used to have Roberto Clemente Park. I think and, they still got that. Uh, the park, but 
Yeah. It's, it's not what the it is. The flag is not there. Yeah. Oh, they got a Puerto Rican restaurant, though. Let me pick up my Puerto Rican restaurant. Pasita. One Puerto Rican restaurant. That so used what? To be, I think we hold it down. The Puerto Rican <laughs> haven of Miami. Right, right, like, right. You know what I'm saying? The only Spanish restaurant he go to LA is in Malibu. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. So, like, terrible, man. Yeah. 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 Terrible. No, I'm not going to lie. I don't eat, I don't eat no. I'm going to take you to South Bay. Let's I, I go. Eat, let me tell you something. When I'm in LA, I eat white. I don't eat, I don't eat ethnic at all. I see. I mean, you on the ground. I say, I'm not going there with you. I can only meet him in Malibu. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, where you at? Soul House. I'm at Nobu. Yes, I'm at some, yes, everything yes. is in Malibu. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm kind of mad at the people who first brought me to LA because I felt like I've missed like 18 years of my life. You know, I've been going to LA for 20 years. Like, out of 17 years, this is the only year, like last year, I went to Malibu. And I was like, how have they been hiding this shit from the Yande? And, and now I'm there all the time. I fucking love Malibu. Yeah. Big up to the fires and, and all that that happened, man. Not Everybody, big up to it. Not big up to it. <laughs> we don't want to big up the fires. That's big up to the wrong. firefighters. Big up to the firefighters. You know what was crazy? Well, damn, I wish Diego was here. Was When we was in Malibu, it was some shit happening with the lights. And he was like, yo, we kind of like predicted these fucking fires. But, uh. Moving on. Wait, wait, you and Diego predicted the fire? Yeah, uh, who else was there? <laughs> who else? <laughs> no, we kept seeing. There was something on the lights. Like, when it rained. Oh, you like you thought it would catch fire. Like, yeah, like, we, fire. like okay. I, I kid you not. And you know the crazy shit about Malibu? They don't sell plastic. So they don't sell, like. Well, they are blaming the power company. Yeah, well, I, I, I believe, I seen it. Yeah, I no, seen it. They're blaming the power company. Girl, like, that's, that's that old hood shit. I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it. You salted it. Yeah. So. So, uh, what, what, what's your favorite, uh, your favorite moments in hip hop right now? What, right now? Yeah. Sure. I don't know if I have a favorite moment right now, but okay. the most exciting thing for me right now is working with St. John, you right. know what I mean, to be honest. Let's make some noise for my nigga St. Yeah. John. Hey! We're going to bring him up like five, yeah. ten minutes. Yeah. But that's dope. I, I, I see you passionate about that, though. Nah, seriously. Right. Because, you know, it's been 15 years before I, you know, since I did anything in music. Right. And the last two albums I did was Kanye's first two albums, right? Wow. So, College Dropout, Late Registration. So, to step out the game for... That was his first two? Yeah. Wow. So, to step out the game all this time, I said I would never, ever be in music business again. I remember you saying that. And people asked me over and over, you know what I'm saying? And manage, do this, come be a right. part, CEO, right. run right. this. Right. I wasn't interested, but something that I was passionate just kind of drew me back in. Wow. And, and the music, the artistry, and then building a relationship with him, it showed me something different. And now seeing how good right. he really is, I'm like, the creative process is what I enjoy more than anything. Right. You know what I mean? Being in the studio, remember me and right. you being in the yep. studio yep. all day. Yep. So I love to be in the studio for him, producer pulling up a track, seeing right. the head movement, seeing the person come up with the words, go in and actually create the, the music. And then, you know, especially when they hit records, to see that from scratch, that's one of the most memorable times. Now, you even went to Hot 97 with him. Yeah. Like, I heard recently, I went to Hot 97 yeah. to, like, that's that's deep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you don't, you don't. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah back, like, I'm back all the way back yeah, in the Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. I mean, I don't do nothing halfway. If I do right. something, I'm all in. That's right. hard. That's why I take my time with shit, you know? That's hard. Yeah. Can I get you to smoke a blunt? No. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not, not halfway. Just not smoke it all the way. <laughs> it's not gonna, you, on, you on parole still or no? No, nah, I'm on. Okay. Oh, let's make some noise for me on parole. God damn it. Probation. Probation. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you remember when you was on other probation? You used to use yeah. me as a guinea pig. Yeah. Yeah, he used to be like, yo, Nori, come over, all right? And he used to put like fucking a pound of weed in. 10 cookies. <laughs> like, this doesn't match up, Biggs. This thing, you can't put a 10, you can't make 10 cookies. And make 54, worse. nigga. Yeah. What are you doing? He make 10 big cookies like this. Go ahead, Nori. <laughs> Yo, one, one time he drove home from his house, I swear to God, I was doing 20 miles per hour the whole way home. <laughs> like this, people was hon honking by. I'm like, I can't go no further. This is it. Word, but, but, yo, um, so, so, Life moves on. You come home, uh, you start your, the clothing line, things happen, and then you, you get to see that your two brothers ain't talking, right? You get to see that one is on one side and one is on the other side. Me and Damon J. Yeah. Like, one, what is, what is, what is, what's the first thing you think of when that happens? I mean, I didn't think anything. Last thing I seen was them together at uh, Shaka's Sh birthday. Shaka, Shaka birthday. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. after that. 
DTP mm. Shaka, right? You talking about? No, mm. Shaka that, that used to oh, work for okay. me. Shaka Pilgrim. So, so I didn't see them after that. Yeah, they was at uh, Jay's show with Kevin Hart and everybody. So Jay That's Dane right. took his daughter to the show. So they That's were speaking. That's right. They just wasn't hanging together. Mm. Right. Just like us, I mean, we all speak, but right. it just happens that now, you know, I mean, I spend a lot of time in LA. I mm. see Jay Moore, you know what I mean? Cause right. I'm with Tata a lot, I'm with right. Emery all the time. Right. You know what I mean? So, that was my next question. Yeah, so that all allows, you know, that time allows us to spend time together. Right. But um, yeah, I seen Dame the other day too. Oh, word? Right. Yeah, at a, uh, at, at a dinner for okay. somebody had a birthday dinner. Okay, okay. So I see everybody here and right there. So how, how about Emery because Emery, for the most part, um, when Jay first came out, we only heard of him through songs. Yeah. Like, a lot of people didn't. Like, it was crazy because yeah. as much as I, I, I know all of y'all, me and Emery had just really met each other. He's yeah. like, yo, damn, we just met each other. Like, how, how, how dope was that for you to come home and see that he had a position in Puma and he yeah. was doing... Well, when Emery came home, I was here. So I actually picked Emery up. Oh, get the fuck out. I thought, I thought. No, no. I, I picked Emery up. I would actually take him to work every day oh, to Rock Nation. Oh, I didn't know that. I, yeah. thought, I thought he came home, then you came home. Yeah, he came home. Okay. I, I went in years later. Oh, like two, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm bugging. I'm so bugging. he was like, I only want you to pick me up, you know right. what I'm saying? When, right. and, you know, we spend time. Yeah. But Emery, people don't know, is a real intricate part of Rockefeller. He's there from the Genesis. So Emery's. DNA is just as much Rockefeller as anybody else. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Same way Tata, same way Beehive, the same right. way Bleak. All right. You know what I'm saying? And Clark Kent and everybody else that helped us get to that point. Right. But Emery, you know. So was, what, what was the story that made Emery famous? What was it? He was in Vegas and he, he, he lost. Oh, when he got his name Vegas? Yeah, yeah. when he was at the crap tables at the, the one that starts a G up. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so, Go yeah, ahead. so, yeah, we was out there. Well, there's a couple of things. I mean, from even in my lifetime, we shot the video. Emery bought the whole island out of Champagne. So, he, yeah, he bought the we whole... We can't just he, say that. You, yeah. just get, you just can't just he say that. He bought the whole the island, island out of yeah. Champagne. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Please remember that story, but when we went to London that day, we bought the whole hotel out of chicken and wine. It's a little something like yeah. that, goddammit. So, so, but go ahead. But, but, so he, but, he brought the whole island out of champagne. Yeah, yeah, that. And then in Vegas, you know, he went off and was at the, 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 the gambling table and then went and bought a bunch of bottles and stuff and then made this little area all VIP. So nobody knew who we was. We was at the fight sitting right. in front of Dr. Dre. This is before we had any music out. All right. So, you know, we did and the uh, security started asking, yo, can we let them in? We let them in. These are all NBA players and shit. And we like, yeah, yeah, he good, he good, he good. <laughs> but no, no, nobody knows. Just right. we bought so much champagne, they thought right. we were somebody. Right. But that was all Emery. Right. And, 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 and Emery on top of that is the one who created all the lifestyle at Rock Nation. So you see the paper plane hats, that's Emery. Right. Oh, wow. Anything with Puma, that's Emery. Right. You know what I mean? So all those collaborations, Rihanna, Big Sean, Meek Mill, right. all that stuff goes through Emery. God damn. He's the one that's at the forefront of that, and, and you know, you got to kind of pass through that bridge. Right. How, how, pr how proud would you see that? I mean, I love that. That's my brother. You right. know what I'm saying? Every time that he wins, I win. Right. God yeah. damn it. And vice versa. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Make some noise. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm about to take a shot of wine. Because <laughs> I'm not can't do that. I'll go again. I'll go again. You're going to do it. Uh, listen, I, let's, I'll go some rock. I'll go some rock. You, you will go to Killer? Another shot? I just have, yeah, I can have some of this. I got Straight to kill? You don't want to do a shot? You got to do a shot. You want to do a shot? You want to do a shot, man. It's for yeah. your birthday. It's my birthday. It's for your birthday. So everybody man. take a shot. Everybody take a shot, God damn it. Everybody. I'm One, not going to lie. Two, three, four, five. I'm not going to lie. Them pinyas. You need 20 is, shots. Them pinyas, Sirox and Sifu Yala, right? Come here, Lee. I got something for that. The is this the first time we could? Oh, can we real. see 20 people take shots it's on the drink It's the first chat? time on drink chats, everybody going to take a shot. Well, Puff did some foul yeah. shit that when he came on. Is that seafood I mean, y'all or is that real? Definitely not enough, not 20 there, but. It's real to Pina? The Pina Colada Syrah. I'm asking you, brother. How you don't know? You didn't charge it. Oh, yeah, you picked it up. Jesus. Come on, fam. This is black, Is this black something? Black. No, I'm talking about the white. Is there something in there? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. That's what I meant. Yeah, I want some colada. I'll take a shot of that all day. Yeah, some and everything. That's like Malibu, baby. So you want to take a break and we bring in St. John? Yeah, it, and then let's yeah. give everybody their shot and then we start yep. the, the next segment like that. All this. right, bar. Done. Why are you bringing the liquor in the bathroom? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable with that at all. You're going to take a piss, then pour your shot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm Lee. glad I caught that one, yeah. my nigga. Did you see that? 
<laughs> Yo, Lee, you ain't changed. <laughs> He thinks he's still in the Dominican Republic right now. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, me. Yeah, he brought the bottle in you got, the and then you got Oh, my here. God. Oh, okay. This is like, I don't know, eight? It's my birthday on That's Drink That's right. Chaps. It's your birthday on Drink Chaps. Salo. Okay, can we, can Salo. Everybody in the Salo. Salo. Yeah, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, right. But what is, ah, what, what is it strong. with? Because one year, <laughs> when Oye Mikando came out, uh, we had a, a Rockefeller show. Just to give him a little. We had the biggest reggaeton song. No, we still, we still winning. Tone. We still winning. Yeah, like had guns. Yeah, because yeah, I know Daddy Yankee yeah. trying to take it, so that's yeah. when we. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we had it first, and it was funny because one night uh, uh, we went. To, it was a Puerto, it was Puerto Rican Day parade, and it was uh, I think it was Rock, uh, Rock La Familia had a club. So I think Hector Bambino, you guys yeah. had Hector Father, you guys had True Life, you guys had me. And it was crazy. I remember you. I think it was just you and Jay. And y'all was at the bar, and y'all just drank tequila all night. And I looked at these niggas, and they wouldn't sweat. I was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. I was you were like, jealous. Yo, you were jealous. I, was, I can use that word. <laughs> I was jealous. Because I was like, damn, you know, after two shots, like, it's, it's like shit that come down my shit right here. Then my, you, you, your underarms start acting up, you know. But y'all niggas wouldn't sweat. Man, what the fuck? Did, what kind of training did you, what kind of drinking training did, did y'all go through? Like, you, you guys don't sweat. What the fuck? Like, even yeah. right now, you're not sweating in the nah, shot. I had sweat. to take off my shit. Nah, I'm too cool, family. You still, <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Too good at that. <laughs> now, 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 say, listen, um, for the people that don't know about you, uh, You're like, in the records I heard, you're like uh, future Lauren Hill and like Bob Dylan. Wow. Damn. Nigga, I write that shit. Put that shit on the shirt. Did I follow like all that. <laughs> you got to put shirts to say the name. Future like that. Bob Dylan, Lauren Hill. <laughs> no, I'm John. being honest because like your style is so unique. Like it's so like... Like that, 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 the one thing that I hate about this young generation is I can always identify when a person is, right? Mm. I can always say, all right, that's him, that's him. The thing about you is you can, you're so versatile that you can, you can be any, anything ever. Like, like I heard records from you, I was like, that's the same guy? Right. Like it, one would be so left and then one would be right to the core and then one was, it's like I've never, like I know why he's, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, because it's, but, how, how you, like, first off, where you from? I'm from Brooklyn. East from New Brooklyn, York. god yeah, damn yeah. it, East New York, god damn it. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would have sworn you was from Arizona or something, yeah, like, the way, you, like, your mind is out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I just thought it was, like, somewhere that we didn't, we didn't. No, I can't believe you. from Brooklyn? I'm from Get Brooklyn. out of here. Yeah, yeah. Black, what's you say? No, 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 East New York. East New York? Oh, yeah. damn, you a murderer. Because wow. everybody you a murderer? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of killers that come from East New York. Yeah, a lot of killers. Listen, when I was in jail, everybody from East New York, you asked you East New York? They're like, yeah, you got a body, right? Like, yeah. How you know? I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody them. But East New York, so, okay, uh, talk about your upbringings and like how you developed that. And your inspirations, that. too. Yeah, Based yeah. on what he's saying, right. I need to hear what your inspirations yes, are. Yes. Well, I grew up bouncing between Brooklyn, East New York, and Guyana, Georgetown, Guyana. So that's in South America. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah, so I'm West Indian because Guyana is West yeah, Indian, yeah. although it's in South America. It's confusing. Guyana. Right, 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 right. So it's, you know. And Spanish. Uh, you know what? I ain't run into that part, but that sounds no, good. Yeah, no, I, I like that. Wow. Do they? Yeah. And Guyana? Me something in new. parts of Guyana, yeah. I thought Guyana was, I was in Africa. South South no, no, no. America. You're thinking Ghana. Ghana, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's South America, right? So it's right. You know, yeah. Spanish speaking mm. or, you know, Portuguese in different yeah. regions. Yeah. But we spoke English, we spoke Patois, and it's French Guyana. It's, starting, it's a geography lesson now, right? right? Wow. So I grew cool. up bouncing between Brooklyn and Guyana. Right. So my influences, just to answer your question, right. I grew up, when I was in New York, I was, I was listening to, it was right. Rockefeller. I was listening right. to Jay. I was listening right. to um, right. Bleak. I was listening right. to... Uh, in Guyana. Right. Yeah, well, Guyana. I, would, I took some of it back with me. Right. Because, right? you know, you get to take things back with you. Right. But when I was 
there growing up for real in Guyana. I was listening to Beanie Man and Spraga Benz and Buju Banton and you know, Sizzler. So the Caribbean mm. influence was heavy. It's heavy. You can't right, escape right, it. Right, that's just right. that's normal. Yeah. Right. Just like it was doctrine right. to listen to Jay right. in New York. That yeah, was you know to. that was gospel. You just that's yeah. what you had the to do. It was Buju to, to Jay in the Caribbean. Who the nigga right. just came home? Buju. Buju. Oh yeah, Buju. Yeah, 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 Buju. Yeah, yeah. That deserves a round of applause. Yeah, that yeah. deserves yeah. a round of applause. Man, yeah. 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 we can get Buju on Jay Chance. Legend. Yeah, also, shout out to Sizzler because you know he was signed to Rockefeller too. That's right, he's oh, on that record too. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Sizzler's on my album, by the way. That's crazy. Yeah. Yo, by the way, oh. Sizzler is on the record with you. Uh, he is? I'm you, on David record. Banner. Okay. On my album, yeah. Well, I was yeah. hanging out with Kyle the other day and he played me a Sizzler, no, Mavado, Sizzler, and Buju record. I know he went wow. to Jamaica. I knew he immediately got with Buju. I'm not going to lie to you. And you know, like, reggae music is like my third or fourth favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't want to act sit here and like, like you know. No, I love I'm a Shabba Growing Ranks in Miami, nigga. It's, I'm a Shabba it's Ranks dancing. nigga. Like, I'm I'm old school. I'm Shabba nah, Ranks. That's, that's right I'm, school. Um, what's what's the other nigga? Um, light skinned nigga look like special ed. What are you about? Super, Super cat. cat. Super, Super cat. cat. Super cat. I, I'm I'm like that. So, but I ain't been into like reggae like that like that. Yo, stop but, it, my man. But, <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He was no, tapping your shoulder no, for a long no, time. No, I ain't, no. I, I ain't wanna say that. I was like, what's going on over there? I, <laughs> but, um, when Ka um, Kyle played me this shit, I was like, wow. Like, he got some shit. The thing about, the thing about DJ Kyle, man, I wanna give him. Wait, did you guys talk about him coming on Drink Channel? You know what? I didn't bring it up because oh, I'm too classy. On, but you know what? <laughs> too classy? Yeah, because You're not too classy. he rung it up. He oh, brought okay. it up. He was like, Yo, this, this, this is when I'm going to do it. And it's I was not like, the conspiracy that you've been coming up with. No, I think it's still the conspiracy that I've been coming up with. I think, I think it still is. Uh, uh, Wait, but, what's the conspiracy? I got, now we got to know. No problem. I was we so glad know. someone asked. Yeah. I, was, was I, I was so up? glad. Did you set me up? Okay, all right. Here's my conspiracy theory. EFN is a great guy. That's, that's a horrible <laughs> setup. Oh, you shit. set me up to not be a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> you already know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, is a great guy. What? You know, he has a certain part of him. That's a little crash. <laughs> I've seen him personally tell Pitbull, I'm going to fuck you up. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's my man. Personally, man. I'm just saying he's not his man. I'm not saying that. Right. I'm just saying I've seen Tim in an occasion or two. I thought I saw him. <laughs> I, listen, this, remember Atana Sana? This is a remarkable club. Yes, I remember club. that time. All right, all right, all right. It's a remarkable club called Atana Sana. Stick to the point, man. Okay, so my theory is, at some point, you know, EFN used to be out here working street team, doing what we got to do. Me and Cali came up around the same came time. Came out, yeah. and he did something. No, I didn't do anything. Look, this is, this, is, this is the hater train. They don't want me to finish the story. Oh. <laughs> but they did something. <laughs> And I don't, I'm not sure if Khaled forgives EFN yet. I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. Good, oh, Khaled never did the show? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's crazy. And we're all home team. Yeah, he should yeah. be on the show. He but should have been on the show back in, when we started the show. I 1,000,000% hope and, uh, my theory and, uh, is incorrect. Nah, you're, I think it's incorrect. We, I think it's we've incorrect. We've seen each other many times. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm bugging. I'm just, I'm fucking with you, to be honest with you. Yeah. But a part of me is, is that why? Because I didn't count it today. That's how I'm doing drink champs. He's like, nah, I ain't going to be. I'm going to LA. <laughs> 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 nah, you lying, man. I can show you the text. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'll show you the text. Yeah. Cal, so you I ain't going to be. I'm going to LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All jokes aside. <laughs> <laughs> this might be real. <laughs> this might be real. <laughs> No, I mean, it could be real. You don't want to, you don't want to confess? I, no, what? no, nothing to confess. He knows, I mean, it's... One million percent, they got love for each other. Right. Him, I right, DJ EF, this is actual a, a cover. Yeah, there's a, a magazine You, cover. DJ Ivy, and Bless DJ Khaled. I'm on my way to L.A. today. Right. <laughs> 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 Ironically. <laughs> so, um, a part of, it's just a piece of me that feels like, um... There's a piece of me that feels like, you know, I don't know, that he's not, he's not fucking with you. <laughs> I mean, that's fine, then I won't, do, I won't be on the show that day. Then, yeah, guess. yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I can be wrong because he, he. I think you're wrong, listen, personally. Listen, the thing about it is this, I've been, to, I've been to his crib twice. I'm too, I will not ask you for anything in your house. I kid you not. Other than where's the bathroom. I'm just, I'm, I'm that type of nigga like, 
even if my next door neighbor invites me to a party and I see the party going on, if that person doesn't reiterate, yo, you know you gotta come to the party. I don't, I don't never wanna be the intruder guy. Right. Like I, I was an intruder one time in my life and I didn't like it. <laughs> so I don't intrude at all, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm at, when I, you know, two times I'm at his, his spot, um, I don't bring up drink champs at all. You know what I mean? I just, I just be like, yo, I got, you know, cause one time I came on the boat, Huh? I do. You did what? You, yeah, that's, yeah that's, your, that's what you're supposed to do. But remember, Mr. Levy, one time he came on the boat, we brought Mr. Childs, brought, um, uh, I brought all the liquor in the world, and he's like, yo, I got it all in my crib. And it's like, you can't really violate. You can't really be like, yo, my nigga, I got my own food. Like, you look like a fucking safari hunter. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I had to leave it all. But he brought it up, and, um, I, I, I think he will eventually do it. I think he's going to do it. I think that the conspiracy is wrong. Yeah. I hope, Ultimately, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, we came up together in Miami, yeah. and I'm hella proud because right. I'm proud of the home team. Right. Anybody from the home team that wins, right. I'm winning as well. That's right. And Khaled has gone beyond anybody's expectations. Right. Yeah. And I'm proud of that, and that's why I want to showcase him to represent my side of Drink Champs, which is Miami. That's right. You know I, I respect that, goddamn. Make some noise. <laughs> now... Now, what kind, of, what, what kind of pressure do you face? Because literally, this is the man who probably put on the, one of the greatest people in, on earth, especially as the MC. Is that pressure or is that something that, you know, it makes you want to say, you know what, I'm going to go on the motherfucking wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, I'm like, how, how do you feel about that? I don't think about it. Wow. I don't think about it. Wow. You know, it's funny because... Right, we're friends, right? Right. So he has this tremendous legacy and he's done these mm -hmm. impossible things. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about what I'm trying to do. Right. Right? Dope. I'm thinking, you know, where I came from and where I want to go next. Right. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, what's the roadmap to get there? Mm. So this, I don't feel any pressure outside of, right. can I buy my mom the Chanel wallet that I just bought for myself? You God know what damn. I'm saying? Goddamn. What, right. What's the next 10 years going to look like for me? I don't think of the pressure of what he's not. And it doesn't feel that way because I'm hungry. I just want it. Right. That's I dope. just want it. I don't, I forget, right? I'm sitting in the corner and I'm hearing the story. I'm like, oh, sh this nigga did what? Right. right? And I, but I know that. Right. But that's not what I'm waking up thinking. That's not the right. urgency. It's just two yeah. niggas moving around. To have, we got a whole other plan and we want to do something. Right. God damn it. That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. That was hard. Now, now, um, now, uh, who was your inspirations, like besides a Jay or something like that? Like who is somebody mm -hmm. you look at in the new generation, rather? Forget your inspiration of somebody new. Who are your peers that you yeah look that to? you that you fuck with? I mean, you gotta respect Drake. Drake, right? Okay. But there's you know there's different tiers. You talking? Right. I remember when when I grew up watching uh, Rockefeller, I respected the business model. Mm -hmm. I was a kid. I was just like a broke kid in East mm -hmm. New York, like a bummy barefoot kid from Guyana, mm -hmm. just trying to make something. And that I was like, whoa, there's a path here. Mm. There's something that you could do. There's something to be executed here that right. makes sense. Mm. So there's inspiration musically and there's inspiration business-wise. Wow. Right? And you come from harsh circumstances and you try to make a roadmap out. So I was looking at business. Wow. And were you born here? Yeah, I was born here. Okay. Yeah. Well, how, how did the uh, 21 Savage thing affect you? I rubbed me the wrong way because yeah. I'm, I'm first generation American, but I grew up bouncing between countries. And you could have easily been born here. Yeah, just as easily. My, yeah. yeah, my mom scraped right. to make sure we were born here just to be on this soil because that meant something. That meant they couldn't send us back no more. And they're trying right. to change that law now, too. Of course. What, even if you were born here? Yeah, that parents bring the kid, like give birth here, they're trying to change that law. What, what, what word? Yeah. That's crazy. It's like yeah. they're calling it anchor babies, I think. I think. That's wild. I heard that, but I didn't know that's what that meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anchor baby? Which, I mean, in some... Realities: People do come here to give birth here because they want a better life for their children. Right. Right. They're trying to change those laws. Wow. <clears throat> I'm sure a bunch of our parents did the same thing. Yeah. Wow. I mean, just to get here, just to scrape yeah, to be in this spot. Yeah, I'm first generation American. Right. 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 So when I saw the 21 Savage thing, I'm like, this guy, he was just building his life here. He's gonna be ripped right. from his kids. He got three kids. I didn't even know that. Right. Wow. Like, I met him a couple times, but I didn't know his entire situation. But I could. And he got no UK accent. Nah. So he's in Atlanta. That's an Atlanta no, he nigga, was born, regardless. Actually, like I'm confused because I know he's Caribbean. He was born in the UK. Yeah, but but I think I think I think the UK owns Dominica. 
No, I don't think so. I tried to look that up because I was thinking, is it a, is a Commonwealth? But I don't think it is. Let's double check that because I think if you're born in the British Virgin Islands, they say that you, but it's you're probably British of the Virgin UK. Islands. I, those aren't British territories. Dominica or Saint Lucia, which is but where, isn't where UK other... British? Excuse me. Isn't the UK that's part of Britain? Yeah, yeah UK is the but, United but Kingdom. But he's saying Dominica and Saint Lucia isn't a part of that. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, Saint yeah, Martin yeah. is right. There's yeah, a Dutch side, the French right, side. Right, 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 right. Saint I Bart think Dominica is because I was I was looking up. I didn't see it. it. I didn't see my it. My man six seven. That's where he's at. He's where he's he's he's, he's in Dominica. Well, it might be because he's from there, from that country. Well, yeah, he was born in Dominica. He was, but it has nothing to do with the UK. Yeah, I definitely. We're going down yeah, a rabbit hole yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we investigate. We investigate Tory. But we got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure it out. But God damn it. But yeah, but, but you know they're saying real quick the yeah. conspiracy behind that. Is that supposedly he came out with a record yeah. that was touching on immigration, yep. touching on, on other social issues. Yeah, I heard that. And then all of a sudden now he's a target. And then of the an day before that, issue. he did an Instagram live where he was actually saying snitches is like some, some crazy shit. And not only that, you're hanging out with, because God bless me. God bless everybody around him, but you building this jail reform shit, yeah. you gotta be squeaky fucking clean. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you're you're trying to say that all these this billion dollar business should be, you know what I'm saying, reversed, and people are gonna target you for that. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, and then you know, 21. Uh, the last three times I saw Bleak, they was they was together. 21 and, and him. So I think he could Bleak or Meek. Uh, uh, excuse me, Meek. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm, I was Rockefeller. Jump facts. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm a Rockefeller. I'm a Rockefeller. <laughs> so um, how did you feel being at that dinner, man? That was wild. You, that was wild. Yeah, right? that was wild. It's, it's wild, right? Because I'm looking when I look at the picture, I'm like, nigga, that happened. That's crazy. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right? Because right. right? this this nigga's out of his mind. He'd be like, yo, just pull up. We just we're just doing this. Oh, let me just tell you something like, about okay. Biggs. Nothing is to him. Like he, yo, listen, my dude. Like fucking whoever can walk in the room, Biggs be like, what up? Right. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, so, so you gotta know that about this nigga. This okay. I learned fast. We were doing. We were. Um, we went and did something for BT real quick, right? Mm -hmm. So I know this nigga's out of his mind. Mm -hmm. They said. Um, <laughs> I remember. I'm just in the room. We just watch, He's just talking on camera. They said if you can go back in the past and you could uh, do anything or you could change anything or something like that, right? Don't make me. Yeah. Don't make me contort it. Right. He said. They were like, "What would you do?" He said, I would go back, I would sign St. John earlier and make Rockefeller a bigger dynasty. I was like, nigga, I'm, I left the room. I'm this nigga crazy, right? Yeah, right. Well, that's a marketing that's genius right there. <laughs> right. I mean, I really think he's going to be the biggest brand as a male since Kanye, wow. as a brand. Right. Musically, I think he's going to cut the edge and then do something that people haven't seen before. And we got it on Drink Chance right yeah. now. No, so, I, I'm going to be honest. So I, I honestly with... believe that. It, I'm, I'm, that's not something, like my legacy is on the line. Uh, I believe you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I put that shit on the line to come back in music. I could have did this with a lot of people, bigger artists, you know what I'm saying, that was already um, selling a lot of records, but I chose to do it with him for a reason. I'm telling you, before I ever even met you, I had a conversation with him, and that's what he said. He's like, that's probably the only person I come back to the music business for. I was like, wow. Yeah, because, so uh, yeah, I played, I played the album for Nori. Right. I don't even know if we met yet, me and right. uh, Saint. And wow. I played it for him. Right. We was going to Malibu. So wow. it's purely off the music first. Yeah, purely off the music. So when you met him, <laughs> then it we just be, no, no, we just became friends. And then he played. He had a he has an album out now called Collection One. Right. So oh, I don't know there's a whole album. Yeah, he has. Oh. A, yeah, that's an album oh, that's been out okay. in March. Okay, I thought it was. So EP. when he okay. we met, and we talked for like three hours, and he said, "Come to the studio, listen to his new project." I was like, "Oh shit," he did it twice. Right. Because I was definitely convinced, but I was like, I don't know if he could do it again. Right. And I heard the new project. I was like. This dude is ill. Because the new album Jinx, like everybody's first album yeah. is dope. <laughs> right? And then <laughs> for two months, we just was friends. You know right. what I mean? Just hanging out, going out, eating, chilling, right. bringing people to the studio, listening. First of all, I don't even go to the studio. Right. right. So, you right. know what I mean? I started bringing other people to listen to the music. And then I wanted to see if I was bugging. Right. So I was like, let me see if everybody else Showing feel the people. same way that right. I feel. Right. And everybody was like, yo, this shit is crazy. Yeah. The other, uh, like two days ago, I was at, three days ago, I was playing some songs for Jay. So I told him, I said, look, man, if I knew Michael Jordan and I'm playing ball, I'm going to say, yo, is my form correct? Wow. I'm going to go to the best. I'm like, nigga, mm -hmm. I got this album. I need you to see what's up. So I played him songs, some songs that he doing uh, on the album, some, like 15. And Jay was like, yo, this is incredible. He said, you ain't played not one whack song. He said, every song you played was incredible. Right. Now, is that pressure on you or is that like, fuck it, I'm, I'm supposed to be like this? At this point? 
this is what I signed up for. Right. Mm. I said, I said this is what I wanted. Right. Right. It's funny you make the, the Michael Jordan reference. Mm. I wake up every day and I tell the people around me I want to be Jordan. So if I've got to be Jordan, then y'all got to be the 96 Bulls. Right. Mm -hmm. So the only pressure is the pressure I give myself because there's nothing to go back to. There's nowhere to fall. Mm. I'll tell you something that was a, a funny story. I can't tell you the, the, the player's name because um, I got to protect them. But I remember one of these players, they, they draft to the Patriots. They go to the Patriots. It's my homeboy. And he called me at like 2.30 in the morning. He's like, yo. Tom Brady made me go to practice right now. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm not used to this. But that's the type of shit that to be a champion, yeah. the dude Tom Brady was like, yo, 2.30 in the morning, called niggas and said, yo, let's go to practice. And who, who's going to tell Tom Brady no? Right, facts. <laughs> Who's gonna, who's gonna be like, nah, I don't wanna practice, fam. I'm drunk. <laughs> like, what, whatever you at, yeah. come and pull up. And that's what it takes to fucking be great. It's just, you just gotta just do every fucking thing. And yo, you on the path, my brother. Uh, you got a great team behind you. One, well, another famous story I used to remember, I remember I used to smoke haze, and Biggs used to hate that I smoked haze. Like, stop smoking haze. Look at Lee face look at right Lee's now. Face. <laughs> yo, <laughs> it's the haze man yo, right there. He's yo, looking like, yo. Yo, in fact, I take another shot on yeah. that. I take oh, another shot Lee on that. Like, Lee like, <laughs> cut, cut. <Yeah. laughs> and yo, I, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember Biggs used to, like, no, no, not mine. Like, I cause, white, cause I would, <laughs> I would smoke, but I wouldn't like search for the like, the best of the best. I'll be like, if, if it's B, I'm good. Like I ain't even want B plus. I'm good. And most of us was like that in New York. Right. This motherfucker, they had a weed called heroin. I had no idea what it was. First off, I thought I was doing heroin. By wild. the way, heroin. <laughs> <Heroana? laughs> yeah. Heroin. It was called heroin. It was, it was yeah, the it was best crazy. weed I've ever smoked. Yeah, yeah it was of crazy. course, it's heroin. But we yeah. went to Amsterdam. It was crazy. Yeah. So we doing nine, uh, 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 rock ninety six. Your position, um, uh, with everything you've been through. When people look sometimes, and I, I you know, I, I, I just, I, I like, not, not that I hate to bring it up, it's just, you know, people will ask. When people see you and Jay so strong together, one of the, the things is why you, Jay, and Dame is not all together. I know people always say that. It's funny because it's not like if I go to his house, right. I got to say, yo, Dame, I'm going to Jay's house. You got to show up so we can take this picture. Right, right, like, right. I don't, right. these shits just happen. Like, right, I don't know. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No one thinks that, though, by the way. I Everyone know. thinks Instagram is super constructive. Because yeah. you know why, though, Biggs? Some people really construct their Instagram yeah. like that. They think that their life is that chronological order. Like, someone told me, someone told me the other day, we're going to get right back to this. Someone told me the other day, yo, I bigged you up. And you ain't even like the picture. I said, nigga, I ain't seen this shit. Yeah. Like, it's no conspiracy. Yeah. Yo, I get like, people in my DM saying, I hit up Nori. I said, that's not a question for me. You better hit him again. Like, like yeah. I don't you know? see certain shit. So go to that. Like, okay. even with, like early on, like you talking about all the crews coming together, right. Brooklyn, right. Harlem, and everybody. Mm. Out of that, me and Tata probably hung out more than any of us. Wow. So back then, even though Jay and Tata, you know, everybody know the story. They grew up together, but mm. it was me and Tata almost every day together, mm. every day. Now, mm. ain't no pictures there, so what they gonna say, yo, mm. why Damon Jane in this picture? Because me and right. Tata hanging out, just certain people click up, and that's just how it is. Doesn't mean you don't have love for somebody else or something like that, you know? Right. Even if two people are getting along or not, it's just, you know, right now, that's the, you know what I mean, where I, I hang out most, you know? Right, right, all right, so, um, again, this is something that's on the internet. Um, choke, no joke. I don't know if, uh, of course you know him. Choke, no joke, accused. Um, what did he say? I totally forgot. Oh, he's, he's. Choke, no joke's a liar. Let's just put it there. Oh. Yeah, before you even go on the story, that right. dude's a liar and he, he right. make up a lot of shit. Okay. Yeah. So it don't matter what the story is, it's probably a, a whole bunch of spin on the truth. Okay, cool, cool. We'll, we'll leave it at that, then. We'll leave it at that. All right, e, you got something? Because I've got to take a pee -pees. Are we, but take, I, but are we really taking the shot? Oh, oh we're, I'm in. Oh, shit, I totally <laughs> forgot. I totally forgot. I'm having fun, we're man. Gonna do Let the me just tell you something. Take pictures? Let me just tell you something. Biggs, I, I just want to be honest with, with everybody. Everybody. Biggs is one of the uh, 
most genuine people I ever met. Uh, I feel like you should be praised. I feel like you should. I feel like, and that's the the good thing about you is you don't you don't even give a fuck. Like you don't give a fuck about having props, and that shit is just amazing to me, because. And you said something earlier. You said, yo, I'd rather celebrate other people's birthdays. That's exactly how it is. Why the bigs don't got a shot? <laughs> yeah, what's going on, Mr. Lee? <laughs> Niggas think, I, 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 well, he don't got a shot. Come on. Yeah, he making Come a on. speech. I'm making a speech. Uh, he got to connect. Oh, he liked the De Leon, god damn it. Yeah, yeah Mr. Lee. So, um, up, you know, and I, I just shout feel like. Shout out to Puff. Yeah, shout out to Puff, Put me man. on the De Leon, yeah, hell. Yeah. Shout out to Revolt TV. Shout on out to On my Revolt. birthday. On my birthday, this became my favorite tequila. Okay, Woo. all right. All right. Oh, that, oh, that's what you're trying to do to make right, up look, for? You fill me up. Listen, I, I ain't backing oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. down. Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> on a swap <laughs> pause. On a summer, on a summer <laughs> colada. <laughs> <laughs> so this is to you, Biggs. Thank you. Salud, family. Salud. St. John and yeah, the man. motherfucking building in great hands. We respect you. Yeah, big guy. So, what, so what's the plan from here? Are we Queen, signing St. John to Rock Nation? Are we signing them to Title? I have seen pictures with you in LA Reed. Is that a, a thing or no? They got options, man. Yeah. I mean, he's signed right now. He's yeah. on a label. LA Reed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is what label is he? What is that? Hitco. What? Hitco. Hitco. Okay, because he he up out of the other y'all y'all got to mean. So he had Hitco right now. Yeah. Is that is that? So what's the next plan? Is that the album? We scale it. Mm -hmm. Collection one came out last year, mm -hmm. like in 18. Mm -hmm. Do it again, do it bigger, go back on tour. Right. I did two tours last year, I did two sold out tours. I'm seeing that. On a, on a project that right. you wouldn't have heard unless right. you were I'm riding a Malibu it. in a sexy right. car, right? Right. What you <laughs> caught it, right? <laughs> but you caught it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yep. That's the word. Uh -huh. Right, it's like two world tours. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go back and do that again, but this time on a bigger level. All right. More silk, more leather. Right. A few more blondes, you know? Yeah, right. and it's not about being signed to somebody else. It's about God Complex. So that's the company that's being created right mm. now that everything will run through. Okay. And that'd be your label? Yeah. Our okay. label, yeah. Controlling yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the idea. Stuff. Yeah. It's the same model. It's the same model we saw before. Yeah. All right. You know, with new information. All right. It's like, not to say that I don't want to put it there, but right. I got to watch it. I got to watch. Rockefeller right. in 2005, six, right. seven. Right. Now I got this. Now I got the inner workings. Yeah, I got the cheat code. You got the mind. You got the cheat yeah. code. Yeah. Yeah. You give me the and, whole book. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. And, and this, this, I'm gonna say this is not to big you up, but this is to big you up. The cheat code starts with your music. The music speaks for itself. Everything mm -hmm. else. That's the problem with artists. Most artists have the music and don't have nothing else out there. And the that. attitude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you got the music and then you got the person. So the thing about it is, if you don't go to where you at, it's purely your fault. I'm just throwing it out there because that means you didn't work hard enough. That means right. you didn't. That means you missed the morning show. That means you went to the tunnel. You know, I know I'm an old nigga. I know the tunnel's not open. <laughs> yeah. um, but that, that means you, that means you went to Club Live and then right. you forgot that you got to wake up in the morning and go see motherfucking Yakuta Mean and Yakuta Mean in the morning. And that's the thing is. Fall in love with the work and never the money, and this shit will always follow you, my dude. You know what See, I'm saying? See, I like that. Fuck like, the money. The money will come once you love the work. You know what I'm saying? I I've always believed in that. Yeah. Yeah, I believe in that. I don't believe in chasing the bag. I don't think yeah. you have to. I think you can. Nah. Yeah, the bag will come. That'll come. That's the automatic. Bag. When you find, you hit your stride, things just sort of come. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, yeah. we, this morning I was, um, this morning I was in Jamaica. I spent the last 10 days in Jamaica, not on vacation, although I, you know, it looked good. Well, I thought you were talking about Jamaica, Queens, okay. No, no, no. Cool, 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 close on us. Okay, okay, no, okay, no, no, yeah. No. I spent the last 10 days, I was working on music in Jamaica, like I'm in the studio like 14 hours a day, no exaggeration, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I get out the studio this morning at like 6 a.m. or uh, 7 a.m., mm -hmm. I hop on a plane, we get here, we hop on the, off a plane, we're here. Right. I'm, all after, I know is work. After lobster rolls. We after the work. lobster yeah, rolls. That's we true. Had, we, had we did. I won't lie. South African. South African lobster tails. Not yeah. lobster rolls. Yeah, okay, lobster by the, tails. Yeah. By the way, we was in Carla's crib. Me, Lenny S, and DJ Carla, and we was talking about your Instagram. I said, how that niggas in shape like that? <laughs> <laughs> and you eat all this foul <laughs> shit. Is it, then, are you vegan? You're vegan, right? No. But you then, was talking but, about something about being kind of vegan, no? Well, I ate a vegan plate. <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> I had some what? chicken no. and waffles. <laughs> vegan chicken oh, yeah, and waffles. Oh, yeah, vegan chicken and waffles. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Which was amazing. Well, and, yeah. But didn't what? you be saying, I didn't eat this part? That's, that's, that I said, that's the part that uh, Colin and Lenny S didn't puke. Yeah, because that's what they eat. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, he I'm didn't like, you got to watch the whole food blog. Yeah, yeah. I the told shit them that I don't eat. I told him so that. So they don't like, read it, they just watch like, nah, it. Nah, Big G and all that foul yeah. shit. Yo, Lenny, stop yeah. eating the desserts, all right? <laughs> right, right Yo, what's right. Callis eating over there? He's doing that way. Yeah. Look. Callis not eating the dessert. Collet is on. Shout out to Collet, right or wrong? Absolutely. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Looking dead now. Weight watches can work. <laughs> Weight, <laughs> Weight watches <laughs> will work and can work. But. You gotta be. You gotta have a little bit of money because the crazy shit was the chef, the the, the cook. No, I'm talking about because they already cooked it. So every time you know he goes and grabs something, there's a person that comes up to him and says, "That's a, such and such amount of calories." Nah, get the All fuck right. out of here. All right, that was it. Was amazing. He got a, he to got me. a human calorie counter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's it was dope. amazing. I'm out of here, bro. I like that. <laughs> It was amazing that's to me. That's some fly and, shit. Like, I'm just telling you, that's some fly shit. Like, he was sitting there yeah. and the person was like, look, you can have this, but if you have this, you can't have that. Or if you want a drink of, of wine, you have a drink of wine, but that drink of wine is going to take away from that piece of such and such. Is that the, the Weight Watchers program? It's the Weight Watchers program, it, yeah. It's a calorie-based program. It's fucking amazing, yeah. So it's amazing. But listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I don't have money like DJ Khaled, so me being on that shit... I would fail. I think you, no, no. I think if you want that shit, you say, "Shut the fuck up, calorie counter." No, 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 no. Yeah, you was no. I, I mean, would was love a, time, a calorie counter. It was a time I, you no, was he doing lost that way. Dude, that I way. would love a calorie no, counter. No, but what was it like four or five years ago? And you was like, "Yo, Biggs, I ain't gonna lie, I'm on my shit. I'm yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah, I'm working out." He lost that way. Yeah, yeah. No, but it? you, you was in jail. I was, I was three. I was almost three. I can show ten. you pictures right now. I was no, I'm just saying when I it was even right before that, after when you was doing that, that whole thing, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, shit ain't the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at least I got it down more up three hundred. Your wife Jesus. is your calorie counter. No, no, she was not, not like. See, Weight Watchers is different. See, the thing about it is. No, but that's, that's not Weight Watchers. That's no, it is. It is Weight Watchers for Khaled. No, no, Weight Watchers. Period. You can actually cheat. That's why you can have pizza. Like you ever seen Oprah promoting that shit? And Oprah would have pizza and shit like that because. No, you're not talking to real fat people, man. Get out of here. No, I'm just telling uh, you the truth. Actually, no. yeah, my yeah, a friend no, I'm of mine you did the truth. that. He yeah. lost like 20, 30 pounds. It, it, it gave, it sent some certain plates, but it tells you what to eat. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, how are you eating dessert and all this shit? He was yep. like, yo, trust me, that's what they. Well, oh, no, me. I know it's a calorie counting. No, thing, so but... what you do, like, so let's, let's right. so let's suppose you're allowed a certain amount of calories, right? right? Two thousand a day, let's say. I would say fifteen hundred, right? That's, okay. That was where my mind was at, right? So let's you say you have that little pizza. That pizza might be worth 700 calories, right? Right. So now you take that 700 calories. Did now you have, uh, what we said, 1,500? Yep. So now you have 750 left. Eight. 800. Or 800, 800, 800 left to yeah. go. So you just work around that, and as long as you stay there, then your shit drops. Yeah, but nobody has. And you got to drink the water. The guy that's behind your shoulder going, no, nope, you that's can't. That's what I'm trying that. to say. Nope, that's that's 1,500. Yeah, well, nope, that's 200. That was my point. My point is you got to have that bread. And you want somebody you respect, too. You don't want somebody you don't respect saying, hey, put that cheesecake down. Like, shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm, now I'm definitely eating the cheesecake. Mm. You want somebody you <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You want somebody you respect. So he got a couple of dudes that, like. What? They, we got some brolic dudes? They look the honorable to me. You know what I'm saying? They was just like, yo, you know, boom, boom, boom. You tied that chicken. They can whoop his ass? Nah, but they was like, you know, let them know. Like, <laughs> because that's the one thing for sure, two things for certain. Nothing's worse than trying to do something and not ac accomplishing that goal. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So if you set out to do something, and um, that's one thing, I guess, he's focused. Like, he's, he, he was serious. Like, the like last couple of times I've seen him, I got him to drink. I did not get him to drink this time. I don't think he's a big drinker, to be honest. He's never been a big yeah, drinker. Yeah. Yeah, he's Sifu Yalo and Sip Sirak and Bel Air. Absolutely. He not. is getting Absolutely. them cold. And I told them, I told his people, <laughs> Make some noise he don't have that. to drink on drink. <laughs> he don't got to drink. He don't got to drink on I think drink that's what he's scared of, too. I think that way sober people I think he thinks he's going to get here. He's nah, going to have nah, a shot nah, of Tiger nah. Bone. We actually he's gonna, he's like gonna start when talking about. don't drink on drink. Yeah, we don't mind when people don't we, drink. We'll get fucked up for you. Joe yeah. Buttons was here, didn't drink. Uh, uh, Royce the 5'9". Royce the 5'9". Fat Joe in the first episode? I didn't drink. not drink. The first time. You didn't drink the first time? Luke, Luke didn't, Luke did drink. I think he drank a little bit. He didn't smoke. 
A lot he, of people don't smoke. Because yeah. uh, high school. We all smoke. True Life. We didn't around. smoke in front of True Life neither because he's on parole. Right. Come on. People could come in here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for real. Niggas think you guys get dumb when you He's come like, here. You know what I'm saying? saying? Come here. We're like what? talking to ourselves like, people, you yeah, can come here. Nah, no, like, like, okay. we gassing oh, ourselves yeah. all, like, for real. Like, yo, okay. my nigga. Like, shit, shit should be real. Like, people be scared to come here. Who else said they were scared? Uh, Jewel Santana. A lot of artists started getting scared to come <laughs> I here. I seen Jewel. He's like, yo, I got to prep for this shit. I said, nigga, you don't got to work out. <laughs> they come to drink cancer, just come on here. We going to be... We good, man. But listen, man, I want to thank both of you brothers. Thank you. Because, again, in our culture, in our generation, none of us big each other up. Everyone wants to compete with each other. Everyone wants to say how much better they are than the next man or how much more do they put into this game as the next man. I wanted to stop that. I wanted to have a show where we could sit down and just give people their flowers where they can smell them, their thoughts where they can tell them, their drinks where they can drink them, and they, you know, their thoughts where they can think of them. I know that was a little loose. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was but, good. But it's, it's real right, shit. It's real shit because none of us, our community is just doesn't exist no more where we just say, yo, you're a great job, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I respect what you're doing. It's, it's, they say that's dick riding nowadays. Like if I say, yo, good job, they'd be like, Oh, you on this nigga dick? Yeah. Like that's that's not that's not that's not real man shit. I'm a man. I can say great job, Drain. I like the way you took that picture. It don't mean nothing. Right. That means that's I, I'm bigging up great art. I'm bigging up great work. Right. But in this generation, they'll try to make you seem like you're a dick rider or you're you're you know one of them them foul names that they use, and that's that shouldn't be it. We should say great job. We should say your bigs, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of how you came home and you just took to the ground running. And you should be saluted. You know what I mean? I feel like in this generation that they, they try to they try to take that away. And I don't want that to happen. I want us to always as a culture. And when I say as a culture, that doesn't mean racial. That means hip hop. Because I believe hip hop is a race. I believe when you vote in a couple of years, they should say, you should, say, you should check black and then hip hop. <laughs> but look, it's seriously, it's, it's good that you guys got a platform like that right. because y'all able to give people a voice. Right. Right. Thank so you. you said it earlier, how do you do it or how do you reach younger kids or speak? But it's platforms like this because it's not many. Right. Especially like with, right. with newer artists, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like mm. St. John, like to be on the cusp of something and not trying to do it after mm -hmm. it already took off and had success, right. which it right. will. You know right. what I'm saying? Yep. You guys had a foresight to see that shit. So yep. it's platforms like this. That, that's what's helping hip hop. Well, well, thank you because this is what I want to continue to do. I want us culture to continue to big each other up because it's, it's y'all model, man. If everyone is rich, then, you know, what, 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 who, who can be the crutches? You know, I don't, I forget how it goes, but you know, you know, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody could fall because yeah, everybody nobody, will be each other crutches. Exactly, man. And, Wait, and, and while we in that spirit too, you right. giving flowers, fam, give yourself some flowers. You did a lot. Yeah. No, 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 that's you cool. Did a lot. No, 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 you did a lot. You did a lot. You did a lot. Talk about that. Let me right. tell you something. You don't never gotta do it because I wake up in the morning and I give myself flowers every day. I be like, yo, right. nigga, you the shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't gotta worry about that. Yeah, you got a flower girl. Just yeah, yeah. Shit I, just, just, I, I, I hire myself. So come into America, myself. the girl. I just come out yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, worry. I remember growing up listening, yeah. right? No. He was a wild nigga, right? Right, right. Wait, well, hold on. I got to know N O R E stand yes. for niggas on the run. That's that right. real? Does that really stand for niggas on the run? It definitely does, bro. Yeah, it definitely does. It definitely does. It definitely does. I was actually on the run when I ate that, oh, I wrote yeah. that album and you shit. You should take a shot to that. Hold up. We got to. God damn, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you. I'm with you on that shot. I wasn't with you on. You know why he's saying to take a shot? That's all right. Don't, don't blow it up. Because he's drinking blow. that good shit. It's all good. It's good. It's good. His partner's right here. I got yeah, that's right. I you got to take your other. Oh, yeah. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm yeah, in. yeah, come yeah. on. You got to drink that one first. So that's this a new one. one. Too? Oh, oh, yeah. You got to drink that one yes, and then the new one. Yeah, then the new one. I ain't going to lie. You can hit Mr. Lee, you can hit me a little heavier. You can hit me a little heavier. I'm not going to lie. My wife driving me tonight. Whoa, fam. Pause that. So, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Happy pause. But you know, yeah, we need to get what I do like for that pause right now. Hey, you. That at the place we're in right now, like when we came up, uh -huh. there wasn't a lot of different people of color that you could look up to right. that had success where you say, oh, I can do that. Right. It was just sports, music, right. or you was hustling. Right. But now you got people like Maverick, LeBron, right? right? 
Steve Stout. Uh, uh, what, what he's what's, doing. What's, what's the dude? Uh, Rich. Uh, Rich Paul. Yeah, Rich Paul. Yeah, but that's all a part of. Okay, you know yeah. I mean? yep. That same crew. Because so we're the, trying to get Anthony Davis to the Lakers, man. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. But to see all those people in the different, you know, different businesses, it gives a lot of, you know, I mean, young young kids hope okay. and different yeah. avenues to get out. Salute. Ah, 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 I'm gonna wake yeah, up. Nah. I'm gonna wake up in Flatbush and I know how I got there. Ah, I'm gonna wake up Flatbush <laughs> zombie after this. shit. This is so, really good. What, 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 since when you became a tequila drinker? I've been drinking tequila for a few years. In jail? He told you yeah, they were scouting the home. They wasn't was, was, drinking tequila in jail. I mean, right? they was. So I wasn't. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but nah, right. I've been drinking tequila for a while. I drink okay. everything. Okay. Now nah, you a real drinker. Just went to beer. Real. I don't know where. Why, yeah, yeah. Where Listen, this he, beer came from. Just, just by the way, he started out as a rum drinker. I've always been a rum drinker. Yeah. Yeah. I love and then rum I was still. a beer drinker. Rum's amazing. Yeah, rum's amazing. Yeah. Premium rum. Yeah. Rum's amazing. Man. I, I've been just Bacardi. I mean, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Diplomatico. Yeah. Was, I mean, I like Bacardi, Definitely. not to make Zacapa. Zacapa, Diplomatico for sure. Or uh, what's the Nicaraguan? Don rum? Papa. It's um. Flor de Caña. I like Flor de Caña. Yeah. Nigga said Nicaraguan rum. Yeah, Flor de Caña is amazing. You gotta stop doing coming home, brother. <laughs> no, 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 that's <laughs> Miami. But what were you gonna say? In Nicaragua? What were you gonna say? Yeah. Guy? I don't know. I just you fucked me up. You with said this something shit. about me drinking beer? No, I was saying that it was funny because I used to drink beer all the time, and used to drink the hard liquor. Cause of my lady, man. And then now, oh, my lady's a beer that, drinker. Drink chat. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I go to breweries and shit. Nah. Yo, well, yeah, once again, beer. man, yeah. Drink Chance Army, you know, the family going to want to take pictures with y'all. So we wanted to thank y'all, to, you know, for just coming through because this is a real show. Hey, coming through again. It's coming through again, your alumni. You know what I'm saying? I got to get oh, you a shit. chain. I got to get you a chain now. Yeah, I don't have a chain. Right. We cannot not talk about the Rockefeller chain. <laughs> just, just, I'm about to use oh, the The one he still has? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think I got it somewhere. No, Boris. Yeah. <laughs> Boris. Oh, Boris. Oh, 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 yeah. Somebody got it. <laughs> yeah, it's Yo, the he Rockefeller chain. The flyest guy wearing your chain. <laughs> My yeah. <laughs> Just so y'all know, at that time I had two original. Right. I gave Nori my original Rockefeller off of, your ch- neck. Off of my neck. Oh. Where we were at? In the village somewhere. Village somewhere. Right by a park. Right. I remember that. Yep. We did yeah, that. Yeah, this nigga memory yeah. is way too good. And then we took the we took the pictures. Right. Yep. We never signed a contract. <laughs> <laughs> we worked the record, the biggest reggaeton song of all time. Yo, how does that even work? the record, put out the album. Yeah. Yo, that's a whole other podcast. I probably executive produced it. Right, yes, yes, it's true. But in he my never understand. signed a contract, and we don't know where this chain is. And wow. listen, <laughs> listen. No, you won. Listen, you heard, <laughs> no, you won. No, you heard his side of it. Yo, you know the singles have Rockefeller logos on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. have the singles. Yes, yes. yes. That, I don't the understand biggest the story, story yeah. 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 How do you almost sign but not rap <laughs> yeah. I got you. No, I swear to God. Yeah. 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 I let them listen. I mean, I we, paid, we paid for the video. Yeah. Yo, we did everything. Wow. Yeah. We cool got it. It. Listen, no, that's not true. I let them get away with this story for years. <laughs> I was begging them. They were so rich. I was like, give me the contract. I was like, we got you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas didn't care. I swear to God. I let them get away with this story for years. But that's how. That's how they, they ran so the building. So did it automatically Def Jam? No, because like, Kev was supposed to do that. It reverted Kev was Def supposed Jam, to roll bro. it over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just roll. Oh, so it's Kev's fault. I, I, would, I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine because I was like, yo, I'm ready. Like, just give it to me. And niggas was like, no, we good. As long as niggas knew, as long as niggas knew I wasn't, like, leaving, niggas didn't care. Oh, we're going to bring the chain out so we yeah. can at least see the chain one more yeah, time? Yeah, we're going to I'll bring the vinyl it. with the Rockefeller logos on that Listen, shit. man, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to, <laughs> so I'm going to the jeweler and be like, yo, make it look old. Put some scratches on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so the niggas think it's brand Was the gold or the platinum? <laughs> Um, I, that's that's where the story gets complicated. What? Cause I had both. Whoa. And oh, I don't remember where I got the other one from. Oh fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I might have gave them both. I was taking a lot of ecstasy and Molly. Yeah, a lot Molly. of changes, <laughs> I had two originals and then I had some. You know what I mean? Listen, man, I'm still affected by the shit I was doing back then. So I'm like, you know, I, sometimes I wake up, I don't be knowing. 
Listen, I woke up the other day. I had a whole dream that I was smoking cigarettes. Oh. I haven't smoked cigarettes in a year. Yo, make some noise for that guy. It's God damn it. Yeah. But it was, yeah, it was come to my house and smoke on the terrace all day. Yeah, the, the, the balcony, the balcony. goddammit. No, when you not in the hood, you can't call it a terrace. You're it's right. It's a balcony. It's a balcony. It's a balcony. <laughs> balcony. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, but listen, listen, because we. This is a Cuban goodbye. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. I gotta, yo, I gotta piss first. Please, no one go to the bathroom first. I've been holding this this whole time. Get, finish your, your speech. I wanted to say thank you, guys. I wanted to say thank you because this is what it is. This is a hip hop show for hip hop people, and we're gonna keep this shit hip hop. St. John, man, we understand what you're doing. Thank we're you, proud of what the fuck you're doing. Thank we you, wanna bro. be the first show to say that we knew that. We put you on here, we recognize. So when a year later or two years later, when you're the biggest thing in the fucking world, I'm gonna be honest, we're gonna pull out this footage and say, we told you! <laughs> we told like you! That. You know what I'm saying? We will we're do that. that. We will yeah. do that. We, we pay like that. Yeah. <laughs> like we're going to claim your props, we're going to, cause you're going to give you credit because you know why? One thing for sure, two things for certain, it's like he just said that about uh, Jay earlier. He said that he doesn't do, Jay doesn't do nothing for money. This is the same way. This dude ain't doing nothing for money. He's doing something because he's passionate about it. He believes and he it. believes in it. He don't fuck with any, trust me, I try to get him to fuck with so many different things and if he wasn't about it, he ain't about it. And that's, that's, that's genuine. You ain't going to find that in this game. So, um, you know, cherish that shit and make a motherfucking couple of million dollars, my dude. And next time, Mr. Child's on you, goddammit. Let's get some noise, goddammit.